Hello, everybody. I think I'm about ready to get started. Welcome in Parameter. So we'll see who's around if anybody wants to hop in for some multiplayer. Otherwise, I'll just do some solo stuff. I don't want to feel any. I don't want anybody to feel forced that they have to join. But I think from the standpoint of today, hopefully we're gonna see some cookies. Honestly, this event has been really dry off stream. Like, like, <clears throat> basically like a barren desert <laughs> in terms of cookies. I don't think I've seen a single cookie drop since the last time we streamed. So it was pretty bad. On the plus side, I did get a lot of experience since it was XP week between streams. Yeah, like I like I don't even have any exciting items to show you. Like I got like basically nothing, chat. In fact, until yesterday, I don't even think I got a PD or I think nine consecutive runs. I didn't get a single drop. It was really bad. I mean, granted, like three of those runs were TTF and you're not expecting anything too crazy from it. But I did do like five episode four boss clears, not not pod, but like doing massive attack E, and I got nothing. I'm like legit nothing, chat. It was bad. So I'm hoping today will be a little better at least. Oh, I'm not on the page I thought I was on. You know what? I'm already here. I might as well just do it. Yeah, I, I mean, I managed to run enough TTF that I managed to get a, a 189 Ramar up to 190. So it's like, that was, that was a decent amount of TTF runs on one character. And I've been working on this character a little bit. So I'm just going to do a quick single player as people get themselves situated. The only thing I think I was missing was... I have like an okay hit on the LNK combat. I feel like my falls damage falls off. Unintended. I feel like it could be a little better. Let's see if there's anything else I should be bringing. Oh, that, there's where my red hand goes. Okay. Never leave a single player home without it. A 30% machine makes such a big difference. Yeah, let's compare. Charge Ray Gun is 1 8. 1864. Handgun is 2054. That's so much more damage versus Vault Up. It's actually kind of silly. Welcome, Elk. Hope you're doing well. It's CCC very hard Thursday and Friday to unlock in Limiter, and I've seen quite a few cookies. I I've seen nothing in Parameter. Like, the Tumbleweed could go by. And nothing else would interrupt it. I'm telling you, like legit nothing. I missed a kill by one damage. That's so sad. I need to hit max ATP. I feel like that's kind of rare in PSO for ATP to miss by exactly one. MST, it's, you know, if it happens, it happens. But given damage range, it's pretty unlucky. One of the ricochets, that kind of sucks. When he hit flow and sword. Whatever. I'll go pick it up. I forgot to check if I have escape goals. I assume I don't. Uh... Yeah, I probably don't. No idea what is going on, but there's explosion, big numbers, things are dying, so I'm assuming I'm doing well. Well, I mean, let's see. Oh, that's right, I don't have Dark Flow on this character yet. I went to go use Dark Flow. I put my health low on purpose. You know, we're just casually walking around with three health on high difficulty. But no worries, Elk. We're just playing a classic game. Technically, we've been around since the Dreamcast or so. Get out of here, dragon. You're not getting another turn. I might as well as regen health by standing still briefly. Oh, welcome, Chris. The pig has been shown. Also, chat, if you wanna if you wanna have a big F in the chat for my Mesetta, because it is about to absolutely get dumpstered in like two minutes. I will take these diamonds. I might as well as check those item boxes and waste some time. 
22, you think I know what a Dreamcast looks like. I was gonna say, I don't know your age. But from the standpoint of the game itself, I didn't play it until it came out on GameCube. Mostly because I just didn't own a Dreamcast. See, Chris is trying to chime in. I'm like, ha, huh, I beat him to it. Take that stream delay. I'm good. You know what? I might as well just farm you. I don't have to. This is going to slow down the run, but I'm going to. That's not the right trap. That's not the right trap either. You know what? We'll take it. Whatever. I was going to disco Brave Man, but fingers were all over the place on that one. Hello, Pun. Hope you're doing well. You know what? I'll give him another happy little confused trap. Maybe I'll get free kills. Are these my tunes or game background music? This is, uh... What is the full title? It's like Maximum Wagner, blah, blah, blah. We're doing Yuzo Kosa Hero soundtracks. So we're just doing whatever's next. I think Shenmue 2 is up next on the playlist. But we've been going in order since the start of his, uh... We'll say composing history, I guess. You wanna rank out a charge spread? Charge spread? Oh, like the spread shotgun. Yeah, most people use charge arms. I didn't think about that. I almost thought you meant spread needle. <laughs> so I was like, mm hmm. Like, it's interesting if you did. Yeah, there we go. I mean, it's, poss it's possible you meant the other one. One, two, three. Time for slime dupes. My favorite part of the run chat. I don't have to do it on my ID, but I'm going to. Slime dupes. And I'm glad Amazing Elk is enjoying the music. This composer is very talented, Elk. This person has at least 20 years of compositions. I love their Streets of Rage stuff. Not a bad slime. Let's see, what are the odds? Oh, I actually got invincibility? Wow. My synchro is actually pretty bad. So I will take that. I guess all my star atomizers in between have paid off. Goodbye, my mess at a chat. Since I'm invincible, I could take it slower here. Save some money. If I didn't have invincibility, I'd have to spend like 60,000. I still had to burn 40. I have two Jaya's recently. That's good. The ability to spend 10,000 Meseta on a swing is definitely pay to win, but hey, listen. You just want to do big damage. You don't question it. Like, if you give me that option, we'll pay. We'll pay for it. Didn't even get to do an attack. It tried. I was legit still invincible from my mag, so it, it never had a chance to damage me. Uh, let's see if we can not mess this up. So let him fall. Walk forward a second longer, and he won't leap at you. You charge ray gun here. Just used to get all that money. It's pretty easy. Play episode four for a while. I mean, I'm sitting on like what, three plus million or thirty plus million? I mean. Is this down route routine? You could speed run this game. Uh, there's a couple strats I can't do on the speed run yet. I need to learn them. But yeah, I basically can solo the hardest, harder quest of the game, to some extent. I do some places. Yeah, there's some interesting glitches that are used in actual speedruns. Maybe we'll try them at some point. Do I feel like killing both of these? I don't think I do. Do a little pause trick here. That is not what I meant to menu. I'll take some damage for that. 
That's fine. When I realized I missed my nude, I just ate the dime eight chat. Listen, I'm just like, I'm not going to think about it. Uh, I should actually use this. So we're finally going to use my buffs. I could have used it on the worm ship. I guess technically the raft to do a little more damage, but it doesn't matter. When you're invincible, I don't care. It, if I was not invincible, I would care because I need to squeeze out as much damage as possible. Oh, I missed one monitor. It might still be good enough. Oh, it's like one hit shy. Such a shame when you miss it. You see monitors are expensive, steal them. Yeah, single player damage does not make sense to me. I, I find it weirdly easier to do in multiplayer. You just do more damage per hit. Hi, right, chat. I'm gonna go for something, but if you see that blinking blue thing face me, I'm in trouble. You can do anything else. Wow. Actually, what garbage. <laughs> Actually, what garbage, chat. I failed the one in four. What a waste of time. Really, again? Oh, come on. Anything but this attack, please. Stop it. Wow, what a troll. Uh, seriously, stop it. <laughs> this wastes so much time. I can't do anything about this. Stop it. There we go. That's the attack I wanted. Get out of here. <laughs> it was just... That was nonsense, chat. That, wa that wastes so much time. Holy. Unlucky. So he has four different attacks. It's random which one he uses. That's the only one where I can't do what I need to do. Healing is preferred. The laser targeting me is also still really good. And then missiles is kind of average. I can at least do some damage to him during the missile phase. Everything else is a big waste of time. So getting that multiple times in a row is a waste of time. You know what? Since he forced me to go pick this up, I'll go pick it up. Yeah, missile indeed. I'm using pause strats there for clarity so I don't target anything. I could walk faster. I do like that my gun kind of matches my outfit. Don't mind me. Just juking some AI. They're like, he's spinning. What is he doing? I don't understand. Trip is important. There we go. Oh, no items of interest there. Unfortunate. Yeah, we, we lost like a good 15, 20 seconds just on that stupidity of running in circles. So sad. Spin, spin! I know. Unlucky. Um, I don't even feel like going for the extra kills here. I think I'm just gonna wrap up the quest. I could get extras, but nah. Not after spin. Is that a monolith? <laughs> the spin spin was uh, in contest today, it seems. So we know that the the spinners are in a set pattern. I haven't totally figured out what causes them to sw swap into specific ones. I know that they are more likely than not to have specific behaviors. Oops, aiming bad. We're gonna do pause tricks so we can walk through these without getting hit, ideally. I was going to say, my movement is kind of tight today, but my aiming is terrible. Sometimes it's best not to shoot at the closest one, because it might result in you getting hit. If you're wondering why I didn't turn immediately to the left, 
I, I wasn't sure if I needed one and two to kill, which also makes a difference. Uh, oh, I was gonna say, I missed one of my shots, I think. That's fun. Okay, 1,000 damage is pretty good. So we're gonna move at an angle to reduce damage. I'm just gonna take the damage here. Oh, it actually missed. How rare. Right. Oh, if that third hit hit, it would have been over. That's unfortunate. Bye, boss. Got short cycle too. That's ultra unlucky. I think longer can avoid getting hit by this. Uh, I need a longer. Oh, actually, it was long enough. We'll count that. Thank you, iframes on single player. Come on, come to me. Another short cycle, unfortunate. Oh, I turned too sharply. We'll take that though, because if we get knocked down early, I'd rather have that than not. Take a swing at me. I think the boss is dead. Oh, I'm one shy. I was gonna say, it would be funny if that actually landed. It very rarely does, though. Need to get a gun with better accuracy to avoid that issue. Both is actually trolling me. There we go. Oak. I'm a ghost. So I got a couple of bad falls patterns. I cut it close on one of the phases. I'm not willing to say it was the game's fault on that one, but. Yeah, that was just kind of like, uh, double short cycle kind of sucks. Though it can bounce around the arena a random number of times, and only getting two bounces really sucks in single player. I know, so sad. Anyway, just <laughs> story mode boss defeated. Okay, chat, so I'm assuming some people want to hop in. It is even beat. So if you want to do some episode four for XP and items, today is the day. I must pop these boxes to see if there's actually anything worthwhile in here. I doubt it. I haven't even seen like a high hit item in a while. Like troll high hit. I haven't seen good high hit in forever. Yeah, I don't think I really want to do very hard unless you're like literally about to hit 80. Like if you're down in the 40s, I'm going to be like, no. I don't think so. Not for today. 
I'll leave this setup on him. I don't think I need anything from him in particular here. I'll cast it in the 70s. Maybe. What 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 is the exact number of 70? Yeah, if you're like 77 or even 76, I don't mind pushing you to the last little bit. 70 take I'm not I don't think I'm dedicated for a full 70. <laughs> I don't mind doing a warm-up run on very hard, because there's a few people that need to get their low 80s leveled anyway. Yeah. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. in which case... Yeah, let, let's do a couple- let's just do a couple of very hard runs. I don't want to dedicate the, the whole session to it. I don't mind helping a little bit there. For people that want to play the 80s that recently got there, by all means. We're gonna do some episode four, I think. Oh, I already did see Bank One. Alright, let's swap characters. There are people that do want to get their rethink characters up a little bit. And then we'll take advantage of even B for the remainder. Didn't take too long. Uh, buh, 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 buh. is there somebody I wanted to level? Uh, should probably actually bring in my blue ID character. I could technically bring in the pink ID. Change my mind. I keep hitting space by accident. I'll get there eventually. Why is an extra space coming out when I hit space? Oh, is it in type mode currently? No. Oh, it's just being weird with me. <laughs> I'm like, I'm only hitting the space bar once, but I was getting a double input there. That was interesting. Right, let's just do two quick runs on episode four, very hard mode. Check can bring in whoever they want. I'll help power level and then we'll do Probably boss runs episode four. can bring in whoever he wants to level in very hard for a little bit. And then we'll, we'll dedicate maybe two runs to this. Technically, if you have an even beat Ron Marl that's low level, you could still bring him in. Still good XP. Not nothing of interest in the shop. What a shame. Want to make sure that we're without it. Alright, we'll slowly unseal name to Argent. Okay. I'm at 2,661 kills. Slowly getting there. Which has arrived. Oh, that reminds me. If chat wants to throw any cookies for a cookie run, I'll help clear. Otherwise, I'm holding off on cookies for a little bit. <clears throat> I don't mind doing cookie runs, but I'm like, uh, save some for later. Because that is definitely the preferred way to level. Some frame one spell caps. That goes fireballs chat. Insta death. Yeah. 
Uh, that's the closest I've gotten to a reward so far. Photon Crystal's pretty good. I like staying basically on the left side over here, because I know the enemy's gonna spawn here. As long as I stand in a pretty good position, you'll see they die almost instantly. If I'm in the perfect position, they die instantly. Zap, zap, chat. Seems everybody's getting a little something so far. I might debuff thing. I'm not gonna get a turn. Double the force, double the power. Yeah, I wish I had some things to unseal other than my sword, but sadly, not very much. Fireball. So OP. Which, do I need to fix my mag? Nope. No OP invincibility for me. HD 01 now at 75. A little getting up there. Yeah, I'm thinking I'll probably host the red ID after this. We could get some ultimate XP. HP materials keep dropping, and I'll take it. Forgetting chat actually has damage. I was like, wait a minute, they're, they're actually getting kills. Wait a minute. I'm playing with a couple people that have, like, legit no equipment on. So I'm like, wait, they're actually shooting the bird out of the sky. That's good. Oh, I think people were lingering too long to the Rappies. I did put a Kofoe down, but if that happens, I can't hit him. Kofoe stacks. Oh, Halloween cookie! Wow, legit the first one I've seen in at least at least 20 runs. There we go. They do exist. I guess in that case I'm willing to do a cookie run. This is different before, I just legit wasn't getting them, so it's like I don't really want to burn through all of them, but I might go neutral. Somebody's at least close to 80. Might be worth pushing it over the edge. Heavenly Arms, what a good pickup. This difficulty. I'll leave it to uh, Imperimeter to buff. I'm stacking Gafoe. That Dwarf on's dead, it just doesn't know it. I tried though. <laughs> I'm like, the killing fireball was already already cast by me. GG. Nicely done from chat. Chris hitting 86, congrats. It's a little easier to solo later. Fire 
fireball. Fireball indeed. I'm gonna make sure I don't go too far in the soundtrack because I think this is the entirety of the soundtrack. Oh, we still have three more songs. Okay, I just want to make sure. And by the entirety, I mean like every Magnum. What is what is the full title of this game? It's like Wagnum Midnight Maximum Tune. There we go. I'll get it right eventually. I was gonna call it Wagnum Midnight again. Like, that's not right. I'm thinking of Midnight Run, which was on PS2. A different racing game. Oh, I should be forward a couple steps. So forward. Yeah, I'm gonna be where that middle satellite lizard is for most damage. So yeah, if chat wants to feed me a cookie, then I'll do a very hard run with them. I'll just hard carry. Otherwise, we're only going to do the one. I don't even mind ultimate pink ID cookies either. I think that would be a good thing. I haven't done pink ID runs in a while. Goodbye, enemies. Nice demons. Get it? Hmm. Get out of here. Not doing too bad on fluids. Basically capped, just picking up a couple. I was going triple adept, I don't even think I'd be low on TP. But I gotta gotta get more kills with the sword, even if it's in an incidental kills. I don't get all of them. I was about to swap into a different weapon, and I'm like, wait a minute. Oh, we merge. The time of Rafoe is upon us. Yeah, I don't like to Gafoe on this, because the Gafoe is actually too slow. You'll see me use, like, Rafoe, like, legit all the way through this entire room. I even use it in the next room. I don't think Gafoe. Gafoe is, like, really good up until this point in the quest. Because you'll see here, for example, like, if you cast a Gafoe where I'm standing, you're not really going to hit them in a timely manner. By the time Gafoe lands, I've already killed them with Rafoe. Both sides. Because Rafoe is just so much faster. And it doesn't have travel distance. But, ooh, look at that bullying. Then I resign to stunlock the Goron. Somebody else can fireball. This I don't care about. I respect fireball kills here. I just go for the Gorons though. And make sure they don't kill the group. Some heals. 76 is pretty good. I don't know why I walked into that. <laughs> that that was player skill issue. That was not the game's fault. Oh <laughs> shit. I was like, ooh, pretty light. Embrace it. Rip my health total. Ooh, look at you picking up a cookie. I was gonna say, wow, it's very hard mode paying off more than ultimate yet again. Proof, proof in the stream. Chat, why do I play ultimate? <laughs> Honest question. Legit getting paid off so much better on this difficulty than anything else. Yeah, like, we got multiple PDs, photon crystals. Multiple PDs, multiple photon crystals. Or at least one photon crystal. 
Very hard mode, apparently, where it's at. Congrats on 100. Oh yeah, look at this use of Rafoe to hit the whole room here. This is my favorite room. This teaches you, if you understand how Rafoe works, how OP that is. <laughs> so good. I'm like, you know, I like it when they actually put enemies in interesting spawn locations. Like, that would be an annoying room to deal with as other characters, but as forces, you're like, oh. Like, step aside, Ranger. Tell you I can just kill the room how it is. I don't gotta wait. Saturday says Dev G. Welcome Dev G. Hope you're doing well. I think I killed them with exact damage on Grins. That's also kind of impressive. I think I did 761 and it had 761. The weird number total. Hopefully life is treating you well, Dev G. We're just murdering Rathies. We're like, listen, we, we could just leave him alone, but we're like, no, 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 we're invading. Oh, chat's really far forward. Chat, I appreciate if you respect the boundary of the room. Back up a bit. Let them come to me. If you're, if you're past me, you're too far. I need them to dive, otherwise you'll make it take longer. I need you to back up. Look at it HD. You're too far forward. It, it actually makes the quest take longer. Back up slightly. Let's back up, please. I'm not gonna run into the fireball. You're too far forward. Please move out of the halfway point of the room. Please stop walking towards them. You're killing me. The reason I'm asking for that from chat that hasn't seen it before is that. If you're too close, the Zeus don't move, which means my fireballs take like literally six times longer to kill them. Like, I- no. This... Damn. Yeah, Pun, I'm gonna need you to move forward next time. That That's my only request in the whole quest, is do not go past the halfway point. I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. This rock right here has like a dark line that goes all the way- you can draw an imaginary line all the way to the other end of the room. If you're past that halfway line, you literally add, like, 15 seconds to the run by just going past it. Like, just don't go past the line. Because <clears throat> it, because you have to think, because the fireballs have to go in a slow, concentric circle, so it's just kind of like, one loop, two loop, three loop, four loop, and then it hits them on the fifth loop. That's a long time for a fireball to go around. That's why I ask for people not to do that. And sometimes it doesn't reach them. Because they might not move at all towards it. In fact, they might fly away from it if you hit them. Then that wastes a lot of time. You use the cookie I got? Nice, nice. Alright, let's hand in the quest. We'll do it very hard. And then after that, we might do an ultimate cookie. That way we could still enjoy the benefits of even beat. Curiosity. What am I doing in terms of unsealing while casually playing? I'm not playing to unseal, I just happen to be holding it. I mean, I'll take almost 3,000 kills off of the kill count. I'll take that. Otherwise, I would just do boring unsealing single player play. Or at least I can help other people and slowly unlock. Yeah, if I had any limiters, I'd be wearing them right now. But sadly, not the case. If I get like 10 more levels, I can probably afford to wear one limiter over an adept to negate the stat penalty. Okay. Okay. 
fact, I could probably stack it. I was gonna say, now the XP should be comparable to like a good ultimate quest, if not higher. You mostly just need help on Gurdabulu. Once it gets demons, it's over. There we go, good demons. Photon drop, nice. Already rewarded for using the cookie. Hopefully we see rewards for everybody. 77 for HG slash Pum. I'm gonna do the magical Gafoe spam. As long as Shack Tills go on Detonator, do we have anything to really worry about? Unfortunately, I think their damage is okay. I like that this character, like, actually legitimately might level and hit 182. Not in this quest, but, like, really soon. End up getting the CM bonus we were talking about? Uh, no, sadly. I was talking with Hellcleave offstream to give context to the chat. I was thinking about if I wanted to buy the challenge mode weapons, and I'm like... I'll think about it. The only thing, I, I, I was kind of dialing it down a little. I might just get a hell shot. Because I'm trying to think, like, which ones will I get my investment back on? And Hellshot just came first and foremost. Even Mech Gun I might just get on my own when we play on challenge mode. Like, I think it's good, don't get me wrong, but, like... It would enable me to play as two characters. Like, I, I cannot play as two current rangers I have because I don't have a Hellshot. So, it's like, I have a legitimate, like... The, the character will be played as soon as I get it. Kind of things. Versus it's a nice to have. Yeah. I mean, I have two rocket seals basically sitting there, and they can have V502, so they could definitely just clear. Yeah, like, I could see, like, Demon Mechon being useful when I'm, like, super bored as an assist. On many, many different areas, as many different characters. And honestly, it would still even go with those rangers. In case I was fighting something that isn't hellable. If I wanted to do Space Shipper later, and I have to kill Barans, I might be able to Demon Mech on that. That gun them out of existence. Nice. Photon draw. Yeah, I was thinking about this lure handgun. That was the other one I was on the fence about. Because I was like, I do do a lot of TTF runs. Where I'm not quite able to kill. Yeah, I think I was... I kind of have them in a separate list where I'm like, a rest needle is nice to have. But I don't think it really changes any of the runs I do currently. Like, I could see where it would, but I just don't do those runs enough. When was this game released? That's a good question. I have no idea. Yeah, it's a it's an old game. I don't know when its original Dreamcast release was to answer that question. I was gonna say I remember playing it in middle school for me, and that was a long time ago. <laughs> that was definitely early two thousands. Goodbye, everything in this room. Perish. Oh. I think we went to the next game. We're gonna pause that soundtrack. Let's go to the next in the Yuzo Kosa Hero soundtrack. Now switching from Wagnum to Shenmue 2. Level 79, congrats. It's now 88. Extra ATP never hurts, although we're almost done with the quest, so I don't think you'll hit 80. At least you'll be close. How much XP do you need? Fun. I'm not gonna do another cookie quest for that, but <laughs> I'm just curious. Ooh, only 15%? Yeah, that's 
Nah, I'm gonna switch to ultimate while we still have some even beat. Let's switch characters after this, but at least you should be close enough to 80. Maybe one of these things. You can ask GameCube Xbox and PC which form this is, yeah. To say, somebody has the power of wiki, <laughs> we could check what year this game came out in. Let's focus on ultimate. Try to get my money. Twenty one December two thousand. Nice. Imagine GameCube was like 2001 or 2002, like really late 2001, maybe, probably more likely 2002. Alright, so let me switch to, I guess, Ink ID. Ink ID should be fine. Two thousand three. See, it says 2000-2004 in the corner there, but I'm like, I don't think it came out in 2004, I'll be real with you. <laughs> like, uh... Question mark. Oh, they're not in this character bank. That's awkward. Wrong character bank. Try again. So many character banks, chat. Alright, I'm gonna bring in another force. I'm gonna use my cookie on ultimate. Get some XP for the people there. Yeah, let's let's play out to the end of even beat now. We might be able to go back and help Pun get to 80 after this, but I wanna make sure we're in ultimate for a bit. This is gonna be a limited window. Oh, Blue Burst was 2004. Interesting. That makes more sense. <laughs> he just has the most... <laughs> Why does he have a badge? Every time, Chad. Every time I think I've gotten rid of all the badges, I just find another one. Okay, so I'm gonna boot up ultimate. I'm gonna go get the cookie. There's three seals on. Also, why is he using ultimate frame? I, d I don't think I have any ad slots on my share bank. I think I use most of them up. Unless I'm lucky and I have four. I don't think I do. I only have two. I mean, I should have... Do I really... Do these really not have any slots? Oh, cool. Annoying. Oh, no That's like free damage. I'm leaving on the table. What a shame. It's one of those things I have a million bronze badges, but I just don't, I didn't convert some of them to add slots. Anyway, let's see. Double add up here should work. Take the one cookie I picked up earlier. Let's do some ultimate mode with it. Badges to make us catch and blush. I was gonna say Dev G. We were talking about this earlier. I had such an overflow of badges. I think I have six characters with 99 stacks of them. Like I don't. I have too many. <laughs> I'm, I'm like the entire. I'm the entire region in Pokemon. <laughs> Not even a gym. Too many badges, yeah. Yeah, I figure we'll do like at least one pink cookie. Unless somebody else has a cookie and they want to burn it, then I don't mind doing more cookie runs. I prefer pink ID if we're gonna do it. Um Technically we could do a red ID cookie if chat's looking for Heaven Striker. What do they do? Uh they're just like a currency. So like I can convert six of them into an ad slot, which lets me put more things into my armor. Uh better ones are 
better items so I could get literal armors, weapons, or upgrades from them. They, they're in bronze, silver, and gold tiers, and technically also platinum, but that so rarely drops. We'll get one another minute or so. Think you need one more Heaven Striker? Huh. I was gonna say, Chris, if you have a cookie you want to give me later, we could we could do some red ID then. I have a red ID force that needs levels anyway. Yeah, I feel like you had a couple. Heaven Strike is a good thing to go for. Oh no, and Parameter bowed out, literally. Ripping Parameter. Bowed his head and went, nope. <laughs> Disconnecting from the game forever. Ripping Parameter. It's funny that his animation is frozen. <laughs> Just. Ripping Parameter. Let's we'll fall over, Dad. Yeah, I think the problem pun for the moment with charge arms is that it's not that the gun is expensive, it's just your character is too weak. It's one of those things where you, you end up spending a lot of money if you don't basically three hit them. Like charge arm for me is like pretty inexpensive late game, but that's because I'm using like level 180 plus characters. Early on it's super expensive, which is why people tend to prefer things like Berserk early on. They don't just blow all their money out of the water. Yeah, because this, this is a much harder area than episode one in terms of toughness. Outside of maybe Ruin. I've come around to getting Restless Lion Charge Berserk Arms. Yeah, exactly. See, I need, I need a Berserk Arm at some point, unironically, Hellcleave. If you find one of those, let me know. I, I need it actually for endless. That was the other thing I was talking about. I don't I don't need it for like the hit percentage necessarily. I just need something if I actually want to pass endless. And it says don't use Masetta. I need that to not fail the challenge, but still clear at a semi reasonable pace. We'll give him Parameter another minute or so to rejoin. Hopefully Pun will be here soon. Yeah, if you see any Berserk Arms, let me know. Like, legitimately, I, I have an actual use case, it's not a hypothetical. Because then I then I could get- it actually- not only does it save me money for not using charge, but then I get more money by not using charge. Because I get more points in Endless. <laughs> so it's, it's just win-win for me, I'm like, hell yeah. I play Endless enough to make it worth it. Like, I don't mind dropping money slash PDs on that. I say, is, is Pun joining us? Of my zero one, which you can find him. Uh, yeah, um, I don't necessarily need it to have attributes. That'd be nice if it did. Oh, this sounds super copyrighted. Hold on, we're skipping this. <laughs> It's one thing if it's like racing music, but I'm like, no, 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 no. When it sounds like a rock song, there's no way that's getting through copyright. Mm -mm. Okay, I've been pairing with you in another minute. I think I have one with some NAA beasts. Yeah, I mean, even that's fine for me. I don't need it to be anything crazy. I mean, if it has stats, it's great. I'll pay for the extra stats, but... It's just one of those things where we're there. I'm assuming in parameters booting up. Where is Pun? I'd like to get started. If you really need money, I will drop 100,000 for you.
Yeah, pretty much once in parameters here, we're leaving. I'm assuming he's booting back into the game. Oh, okay, Hellcleave's also gonna step out. I was gonna offer Hellcleave a cookie run here. We'll deal with Hellcleave later. Hellcleave looking for those per hit percentages on certain weapons. This is the Reaper's power. Show us Fennel, nice. Oh yeah, speaking of which, I need to move that over in this scene. Oh, I can't move it unless an alert's active. That's annoying. This is the Reaper's power. There we go, that should be a little better. I can see it's like slightly offset on one side. That would explain why it's cut off. Hopefully that'll fix the future ones. I was gonna say, are you joining us, Pawn? Otherwise, we're, as soon as the parameter's here, we're going. So I hope you're, if you're gonna join in on Ultimate, you have a choice. So I'll feed this thing Star Atomizers while I wait. I would like to get going at this point. We've waited a few minutes. That's been more than fair. The sword. I'm assuming Pun is not joining. Let's go ahead and get started. We're all short a little bit. I was gonna say, if you needed money, I, like you would have gotten so much more playing on Ultimate just now. Rip. You did mention you had another character. Buy a satellite lizard. Be laser is in. I've been slapped. more when Hellcleave gets back on it, but I was thinking there's one there's one use case I could think of of me using Gun Chang, and it's to save money while doing single player TTF. It might actually be worth it because I do lose a lot of money in single player TTF. Like you get one if I could get a Yun Chang with high A beast, it doesn't even need like high hit percentage, just high A beast should be good enough. Like, it could legit be like Yun Chang 15 hit, 50 A beasts, and I'd be like, yep, what I want. That'd be huge. Oh, speaking of which, Chris, I let Hellcleave know you're looking for a Phone uh mag for max staff. You should be good. One of the Merce is here. By satellite lizards. Let us know, chat, if you'd like to hop in as our fourth player slot. We'll probably extend it to Hellcleave once he's back. I 
I know he was looking for a Heaven Striker. Let's level up. Like, this character has legitimately almost exclusively done cookie quests, start to finish. He, he has not been used, I think, outside of cookie quests and one other level up quest early on. He lives in the cookie mines. Oh, I should have died fluided, not dry fluided. Small waste of fluids, because I was going to level. Oh well. Now I do more damage. Pew, pew, pew. Yeah, I'm gonna recognize the laser will kill the other thing first, so I'll focus the Grand Detonator. Muffs in here. I'm gonna Razan stunlock this. The people with demons can do whatever they want. I don't think this character is demons, so I'm just committing. PP laser will also eventually kill, which is nice. That's fine, this should mostly finish them all. Yeah, when Hellcleave is back, I got a couple topics I want to talk to him about. I'm curious what his take is on it. But I've had a softening of stances with HP materials. Now that I've played all the classes, there's a couple I think it's actually good on, but I still think it's a terrible mistake on most of them. I think it makes a little more sense with Anguish, because I think when I first talked about this topic, Anguish wasn't a thing, and I sometimes forget it is now a thing because of how nerfed it is. Like, I don't even want to do cookie quests on Anguish anymore, due to them just not being rewarding at all. I liked it more when we had the 10 skill to Anguish, for sure. I actually enjoyed that quite a bit. Welcome, RJ Chaos. Oh, nice, a Glide Divine. I'm hoping one of us gets a Slicer or gets a Limiter on one of these Gerda Bulus. We'll see, though. At least I could say I went for limiter again by playing pink ID into Gerda Bulu. Yeah, they're taking so much damage. Between the lasers and the fireballs, they're barely getting an opportunity to attack. by enemies. I've been uh, the slapped. I was gonna say, Horn Detonator is worth using Jelen on. I'm definitely worried he'll crit kill one of us randomly. His damage is pretty high. Anything else I don't feel like debuffing. I killed most of them at least. Time for sure. You know, no matter where this guy teleports, it's over. Nice Kapoe stacks that led to a fast kill. Pew pew death from above, exactly. I think Chris is mostly out of the awkward levels of the Ramar. Ramar does not take very long to become good again, but trying to go from like 80 to 100 on Forest, when your stats just aren't there and you don't have good crap. What am I stuck on? Why can't I move? Is, is there some monster behind me that I can't see? <laughs> I was like, why couldn't I move? I swear to you, Chad, I was holding down on the controller and my character was not walking. 
Something must have been there, but not visible on my screen. There's so many colored dots. I, I was like, I'm not gonna see. Looks like a dip in dots or something. I've been slapped. Okay. Escape dolls. Pick up some grinders, because I knew you need them for challenge mode weapons. <clears throat> Which reminds me, Chad. Ooh, you did get a limiter. Congratulations. Well, point of the quest achieved. <laughs> In regards to challenge mode, I was thinking after the event, I might give challenge mode a shot, finally. As long as we have, like, a few dedicated people to it. Like, we're not going to start immediately at, like, 9.30 in the morning or whatever, since most people aren't there. But I'm thinking at least if we start closer to 11, most people should be able to join in for, like, two hours. I think that's a fair statement. You know, we could do whatever as we warm up, but then we move into challenge mode and split the stream. Because I would like to take advantage of challenge mode weapons at some point, at, at minimum, to get a hell shot. Yeah. Let us know, chat. Is there anybody looking to be a fourth player in our cookie run? I'm assuming we're going to do a few more while Pupi Laser is active. Order inventory a little bit. I think Chris was just interested in a Heaven Striker. So at minimum, I'm going to go ahead and swap to Red ID and I can host. Put away all this money this character doesn't need. I'm sitting on like 33 mil. I'm not even like I could definitely be way higher. I think if I was being more efficient with items, I could very easily see myself to 50 million because I just don't pick up armor. But just doing that for like a week straight probably could have been a couple million, let alone across like a couple years. But it's fine. We just make sure we get the quest money. slowly build it up that way. His forces don't really use that much if I'm using double add up, which is nice. Let me switch into red ID character. A host for Heaven Strikers. If anybody wants to hop in for some red ID cookie runs, there is one free slot. You have some time, you just gotta come to block two. Yeah, hot stuff, by the way, chat was like level 83 or 84 off stream. He might have been doing some episode four runs back to back to back. So he's definitely much tankier than when we last saw him. Though his health still leaves a little bit to be desired. See, Pun is AFK. Maybe Pun stepped away from the computer. Go ahead and host. The only thing I gotta do is swap out. Oh, missing a heavenly age. Oops. Definitely need to go equip that, or I'm not gonna survive. And now at least he has an ignition cloak, because that's where I used my ad slots earlier. That's always nice. We'll let Chris get his cookies. I'm gonna go get the HP and the double adifs with survivability. That should put me in a total I can survive at, because Ignition Cloak is a decent amount of defense. He still has a Gafoe Emerge and everything else, so his damage is not bad. Get our stuff out. Give chat a minute or two if they'd like to hop in. One final call for cookies.
I'm gonna say, ooh, the PSO mouse. <laughs> Assuming other people are AFK. <laughs> That's fun. With Fire Scepter Agni for a small MST boost, but more importantly, more Gafoe damage. Look, Chris play for one. Yeah, this character definitely needs levels, so I'm not opposed to that. I want this character to not only do cookie runs in the future, but massive attack and or general surface clear quests. I shouldn't have to rest her, because I should level before anything threatening happens. Speaking of which, Kurtabulu might kill me though. I know I'm gonna level a few times, so I can take advantage of that small, small increase in defense and health. Maybe survive more on detonator. Lieutenant gear, don't get me excited. I thought that was a cookie. <laughs> I was like, I was like, oh, Raffy died. It can't be anything good, or it should be something good. I mean, because it's a rare sound. So. Exact opposite. Disappointment immense. I love spam casting Gafoe through this menu. I don't have to mash as much. Uh, Grand Detonator is here. The, the Fun Police is here. Oh, Chris got bodied. Rip Chris. You know what? I'm just gonna rip away them. I'm gonna say, I wanna make sure I have some Gafoe up to at least slow them down. Okay, that works. That should be enough. Ooh, double force fireball. Thank you. I'm not dealing with Marissa's. Like, nah, no thanks. So many good Bowie stacks. I, say, I remember when in Parameter was 99, now at 106. Chris is now at 134. Small level gains. I'm just gonna continually spam Fireball for the next wave. Nice level up. Again, that does sm slightly increase my damage, but more importantly, less likely to die to crits. A little bit more defense every time. I'm just gonna continue sacking. I don't have demons. I'm gonna believe in the chat on this one. That way enemies can just spawn into my demons. Otherwise, Pew Pew Laser will do the rest. Ooh, Halloween cookie, congrats. Alright, so we kind of made it pay for itself. It is, I guess, kind of nice that Halloween cookies can lead to more Halloween cookies just because of the increased drop rate being important. Rare rate is actually bad. It actually makes it harder to get the cookies. So I guess they that is also technically a nerf. Enemies with terrible rares that are more common will start taking up cookie drops. So I understand why they made it easier to get them an ultimate to try to compensate that happening. I think it's fair. I don't think I have any complaints about that. I just have complaints on lower difficulties where it's just so abysmally terrible. One of those things you just have to be like, yeah, when you when you have a 33% chance of just not ever possibly getting the cookie, or 50% depending on the rare, it starts getting increasingly terrible. I'd like that Goron Detonator to go away. Do a couple grants here to spare the team shots. Otherwise, I'm gonna go back to Gafoe stacks. It's just more important I have the Gafoe stack out, honestly. Just to make sure we don't get overwhelmed by Marissa's and future waves. The Liberator, don't tease me with these rares. Speaking of bad rares... There should at least be a Disco Brave Man at some point. Oh, and that reminds me, Chris, if you wanted, um... Instead of Disco Brave Man, if you wanted a uh, B101 chance, just let me know. I could switch IDs. 
I forgot to ask which one to do for Heaven Striker. I, I made an assumption there. Because uh, Green ID can get, instead of uh, Disco Rayman from Red ID, you can get uh, V101 from the regular zoo. It's still pretty good. At minimum, I'm going to enjoy my brief level ups on these characters. Because I think he's basically good enough to survive. And I appreciate this level up on this character, because he's been doing a lot of solo work. Anything that slightly increases his defense and damage is good for me. We're almost at the magical multiplayer survival of laser amount, which is nice. I think it is good to Bray Man. Ooh, roll terrible. Unfortunate. I don't think I actually own a green Phonuman. I have a Fomar, who's good enough, but I just realized I don't think I made one of those. So I guess I technically have two Phonuman to complete the Phonuman rainbow. Fomar is enough for me, yeah. Kinda like, I don't really want multiple Fomars. I think one Fomar is fine. I don't really want an army of them. Yeah. Cause I was trying to think what the final slots would be. I guess it would have to be... I'm missing... Orange and Green. So eventually, if there's another mod sec ID, I'd like to replace the the one I put in sky ID, because I just like the flame colors. I kind of messed that up. I don't know why I didn't think about it at the time. I think the character is fine. I just want to swap who, who they look like later. I'm not going to delete them or anything. Getting knocked down. There we go. This is going to make my single player run so much easier. I think I'm already at a crit kill range of Goron Detonator, which is huge. Because when I first started, I actually did die to them. As I was well dying to the episode 4 boss spinners. Pretty annoying. So having like another 30 health compared to where I last did it. In this case, like another 34 health. Should be good. Yeah, they're only doing 300 instead of 450 plus. Yeah, that's a good sign. Thank you, level ups and ignition cloak. Oh, you know what's really stupid? I just thought about it. There's technically a different character I can play in order to deal with- Oh! Right oh, there. In order to- Oh, man, I'm being absolutely hosed by these Gurtaboo who get off me. That I can play instead of a force. Maybe I play- Maybe I should play them into this quest. Because I don't really want to play Fomar, because he's level 200, so he's not going to benefit from the XP. But I have a different idea. I'll host this green ID, but I'm not going to be a force. Items to sell for later. This character's money total was kind of abysmal. I was doing single player. I'm like, I'm going to take my time and pick these up to sell them. But whatever cash I could get here is huge. So this character I'm experimenting, if I give 50 HP materials, how I feel about it on a Phonuman. So far I'm enjoying it. I don't think it puts him like too far over where I want him to be. 
it gets me out of kind of the early levels without punishing me very much late game. I think it might be my sweet spot, but I'll, I'll know more once this character level's higher up. There we go, I finally got some money back. Yeah, I was super poor playing single player due to Adip's not shaving off as much as I want. And now what I can do is I'm within 10 HP of surviving without uh, wearing a heavenly HP against multiplayer door pawns. That means I could get away with potentially multiple add-ups and stuff. Oh, Chris has to step away for five minutes. Okay. Then we'll hold off on a cookie run because I want to make sure we have at minimum three people. But what we could do, we could do something short in the meantime, just to build some meter. In which case, I'm just going to go re-equip my things. Not what I went to re-equip, but we'll take those. Then I'll give this character a little more time in the sun. Heavenly HP so he survives Dwarf on the double adept. So while we wait for Chris, they get a parameter and I can just do a little bit of surface episode four. Whenever Chris is back, we'll finish it up. There we go. I can I can now reasonably buy Triumph Fluids again. Massive attack four is very expensive. Doing solo play with only two adifs. Much better. Okay, so I'm gonna host briefly. And whenever Chris is back, we'll just drop out of the class. See how far we get. At least between the two of us, our damage should be okay. Red and blue. Mm -hmm. Now we just need a yellow character and represent the elements. Oh, you can see where we just need a little more damage. You can see we have room for growth. Leave it at 12. Considering we're like potentially 100 or more MST under cap. Definitely would not be an issue normally. I'm gonna use Rafoe here to speed it up and then kill with Gafoe here. I was just setting up fireballs for this poor wave. Okay, some chance of Cannon Rouge while we wait. I figure it's better than nothing. Ouch. I'm gonna go fully stack for the Dwarfon. as much damage as possible. Fortunately, our grants damage is actually decent because Fomar gets the bonus. We also have demons. So, not too bad. Okay, so I've lost no money so far, but I'll pick up these random armors to sell for later. And we have some kind of profit. Oh, your grants is level 15? Oof. Wow, that was almost in unison. That was kind of scary. Mini 
steps to dodge. Yeah, if you want to see how many frames I'm losing, whenever you see the character walk forward, it means I'm not doing a frame perfect uh, cast. If you want to assess for yourself how accurately I'm doing it. Every little, every little motion's a few frames where I dropped it, even though I'm mashing. It can add up over time. I know it's gonna be almost nothing but go Foe for a little bit, so I'm just gonna stack the Foe here. Instantly dead burn. I know it's gonna be Astar here, so I know there's no point to stacking Gafoe. I love that I stacked like a full set of Gafoe on them. That's so brutal. Probably kill the one that's injured. Two more fireballs should do it. Ooh, nice. I think they're all gonna die then. Goodbye, Dorfons. Bonk. So getting like small profits as we wait. Not bad, almost managed to level. We're almost at the good room. So even if Chris comes back now, we're we're at least gonna kill the Cannon Rouge monsters. Grants at 694 against Orphan. That's not bad. You do have that Grants multiplier on Fomar. That does more than you think it would. Yes, we're almost at the wave. Let's slow them down with some Gafoes. Dark after this. Pretty too much. Oh, it's one more little wave. Oops. I know it's gonna be as dark into the uh, awful Cannon Rouge wave, which will be interesting when we get to that. Oh, it was one wave off. So sad. Right, so I know there's not really a point to stacking Gafoe after this. This is where frame perfect casts matter. Almost have this dumb going. Leveled up, nice. Deadly. Did not manage to get a cannon rouge. Ooh, satellite loser damage is intense. As is the Astark swinging at me. <laughs> With our powers combined, we equal one force's damage. Just a little extra opportunity, get to get extra XP. MST is still important for us for the most part. It's not going to be like a huge indicator, but it makes potentially our rest is a lot stronger and such. Uh, I chipped them out pretty well here. Yeah, the fact that they're almost at 5,000, kind of crazy. Really? How rude. That's not the spell I wanted to cast. I'm glad I didn't die for that. That would have been actually hubris to die there. And a double die fluid. I did get mag blast. Not that it really helps. It's team comp. I 
I can't get the die floats between them. There we go. Got there eventually. Left a mono grinder behind, but that's fun. Did 691 with grants. I don't know what my grants level is, actually. What is it? 28. That's pretty good in terms of level. I was thinking it was 27. But... Yeah, Fulmar Grants is real. Yeah, no, it's huge. That's why I was saying, like, oh yeah, you just. You could Grants for, like, well over a thousand with him. It's not hard. It's not as intense as the Fomorals. I think she has double. I think his is 1.5 offhand. I'm pretty sure he does not have the same grants value as she does. That's like the only thing she's good at, because she could break like 1,300 with grants. I don't think he can casually do that. But it's not super difficult either. Poor Zeus. Should deal with the alleys for the most part. Gotta kill the Astark now. Oh, I like that we left one alive just so I could Gafoe stack for a moment. That's so worth it, actually. This will slow them down significantly. Speaking of which, as he just rocks backwards repeatedly. Soundtrack closing. Second. Soundtrack, you've betrayed me. It's gonna be Oops All Dwarf on soon. I'm gonna just squeeze out a couple levels while we wait. It's not too bad. Rip Chris wherever he is. <laughs> he said five minutes, but like ten minutes. Oh well eventually. I did not mean to Kapoe there. That was a mistake. Well, you know what? We're gonna commit to the mistake. Once you've already made a mistake, you might as well cast it again. Fine. Ooh, getting stumped and not getting knocked down really sucks there. That's gonna kill me. Ooh, I don't... I really wish they weren't gelling. Mistakes were made. Oh, I'm mashing heal, because I have no idea what they're doing. Other than I'm just getting hard comboed. We'll take it, though. Okay, we got through it eventually. A little ugly, but... Got through it. I definitely want to take extra money here. I might just go back and sell stuff real quick. Honestly, just to make more money. I doubt we're going to complete the quest, but hey, if we complete the quest, I mean... Run ID is okay to go to the boss, I guess. Not my preferred ID for it. Or green for that, but... I'll just restock since I'm here. I went up a little bit in cash. Got to waste some other items. Do have in the mine, so I can hold more items. There we go. I'm gonna move my warp into the next area. Save a little bit of a walk time.
So even if we quit out, no, it doesn't super matter. Wait, is the soundtrack actually over? Oh, now I'm just now I'm just being teased. Getting teased by these soundtracks. I thought we had more songs. Did we really go through all 44? Or is it messing with me? Oh, we really did. Huh. Okay. Well, you know what? We're gonna we're gonna do a bonus soundtrack because I don't have anything else open. Let's listen for a brief detour. We're gonna listen to Boscovian soundtrack because that's 20 minutes. Okay, I got rewarded for reaching this point. Got a quick number. A small detour from Muzo, just because I don't have time to look at the soundtracks in the middle of combat. I just heard this randomly. I don't remember if we listened to this on stream or not. I thought it was interesting. It's just randomly ended in my recommended one day, and I'm like, oh, I like the soundtrack. It's definitely Gafoe stacking time to deal with Marissa's. I will take my time with the zoo. I am not in a rush. Welcome back, Chris. We'll finish out this room and then we'll uh boot up a quest for you. I should have walked wow. forward. I forget the soundtrack was interesting enough. For a bit. I'm not sure who does the soundtrack for Boscovian. Maybe we'll look it up later. It's very good though. Oh, Halloween cookie. Wow, rewarded for patience. I'm not even kidding you. I did this quest at least 10 times on this character. He didn't see a single cookie. I'd go to stream it, he gets a cookie. Actual madness. I mean, I'll take it. Nice, right, so let's, let's exit. We don't have to complete the quest. I'm gonna just grab some items to sell real quick. That way I can keep my money totals a little more balanced. That should hold me over for a bit. Yeah, these extra levels, what a game changer for me in single player play. Because when I play single player, I don't need to do the heavenly HP. I can wield triple add up pretty safely. I don't burn like a ton of ton of fluid, but it does add up over time. Getting a 17k profit matters when tri-fluids are like, what, 30k to full restock? Uh, put these away, don't need these. Okay, so I'm gonna switch characters. Chris, if you'd like to host this. This is Bostovian, or Bosconian, excuse me. I'm curious who the composer is. Nobuyuki Unagi. I think I know who this composer is at all. I'm curious what other games they've done. Although this is... which version is this? This is the X68K version? Let's see it in here. I was going to say, the, the, the soundtrack sounds crazy. Let it play out for a bit. I want to say it's a ship shooter game. I remember the SNES version. I've not heard this version before. Because it came out in the X6800, I think. the number I mentioned earlier. Maybe maybe he'll be the next person we give a listen to. But I'm here for now. I 
to say. The music is definitely slapping. Get that bass. Okay, it's Pew Pew Laser Clock. <laughs> I should have Slicer, so it should go pretty quickly. Like, if you didn't tell me, I would have just assumed this was 90s. I'm like, I heard stuff like this all the time on the SNES. I miss the bass heavy tracks. I'm assuming it's just three of us. I'll do last call. Otherwise, we'll get started. We still got a bit of even beat left. I don't see anybody saying anything. So let's just move forward. Worst thing that happens is I just exit quests and let them join. Make sure to equip my proper striker unit. And Chris said he'll pay the, the cookie guy. Oh, he's gotta go get him, I think. Get Chris some time. So yeah, I'll deal with Gerda Boo Boo. Yeah, this this literally just popped up randomly in the recommended. And I was like, oh, I actually kinda like this. We're we're training YouTube to finally pick songs I would like chat instead of giving me pop music <laughs> I don't listen to. Yeah, there we go. Listen to the song chat. Mm -mm -mm. Goodness. Yeah, so I'm definitely very curious what other songs this composer has done. Just like we'll probably do, uh... At some point, a composer playlist for the person that did the Pictionary game. The Tim Pollins. That Pictionary soundtrack had no right to be that good. They also did, like, Silver Surfer and things like that. And, like, we don't care how bad the game is, it's gonna be a good soundtrack. random people. I got something for these Marissa's chat. <laughs> it might look like a big old charge arm. Get out of here. Are you in here? Nice love love. Did I really get Snake Spire on Green ID? That's unlucky. This might be 101. Nah, I'm gonna spare chat by just if I as long as I'm not super close to chat, I could get away with charge arming everything. Oh, I need Cure Shock. Be alone. Sure. You're already dead. I'm in max ATP, so using Heaven Striker for damage on Zeus is actually faster than QP Laser. But I don't need to swap, which is convenient. 
really. What even just hit me then? He's doing his little fidget animation. Let's protect Chad. Get out of here. Wow, I actually killed him with ATP. That's embarrassing. For pretty Bulu. Thanks for all more stats. Ooh, I don't mind doing it. Ooh, I'm doing a thousand on a heavy attack on crit. Oh, that's kind of nice. <laughs> right, chat? Ooh. Don't mind if I do. It saves me a lot of time. I like the liberal use of charge arm in the run. Goodbye, go on detonator. Didn't get many crits despite being at max luck, but whatever. I think we, we could get it sometimes. Punk. This poor Gertabulu is about to get absolutely murdered by me. Where'd your health go, Gertabulu? What happened? Like, I can't charge arm that. They're just, like, all on the outsides. Unfortunate. Oh well. That's why we have this gun. Love it's like, I'm 42% of the way through my level. 1.1 mil to go. I'm like, oh. Uh, a, a little far. Nice kill from the Chris's. Thank you, Charge Arm. There we go. We're gonna give Chad a clear way to escape the, the stupid Marissa by just blowing a hole through a line of them. Put it up a little bit with charge on. I'll regret that. That was a bad throw. No, it wasn't a bad throw though. That was amazing. Okay. Thank you, Slicer. <laughs> Slicer is so stupid on to Boolu Chat. Can we all agree? Just bump 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 dead. <laughs> Even with reduced targets, I still hit the one behind them. Hilarious. Pretty fast run. Got almost 700 XP a second at the end of the quest. Like that. Button drop, okay. There we go. Rolling in the dough now. Fire Ripper, ew. I don't think so. I will take Tri Grinders. I'm gonna need a lot of them for challenge mode weapons. Some of them have like 250 grind. That's pretty significant how many grinders I would need. So if I get two, that's potentially somewhere between like 200 and maybe 400. Another photon drop, wow. Those imperameter is lucky day. 
has fallen from the skies, apparently. Sounds like we're in the end credits. Yeah, this character is slowly leveling. I mean, 313,000 experience in the quest means that within three quests, I could probably solo TTF myself up to 191. My MST is not quite capped, but whenever I wield the Heaven Striker, I do max damage anyway. So I know I'm within 11 MST of cap, which something tells me in 10 levels, I think I could safely hit that. Something tells me. I used a little bit of money, but I basically paid for it with the quest there. Let's do another one. Hearing this part of the soundtrack was reminding me of Loop Hero. Like, if I heard this, I 100% would have thought it was Loop Hero. Has that kind of feel to it. So we'll say final call for people that want to hop in and get some free cookie runs. Uh-oh, Crash. See, Chris is even giving you more time. The view two would just like some free XP. We're not asking you to do anything other than exist. Put away some materials while we wait. I would just like to state, chat, I have a gross number of power materials. M Crazy 12 is also Star of Destiny, says Blue Donna. He's just always finding new stars of destiny. Put these away. Hmm. Yeah, that's right, I have a 20 hit one in there. Nothing that matters. Um. Oh, this red hand gun was so disappointing. Only had machine percentage. Yeah, I was saying to chat earlier, I think I actually ran out of Shurans. Hopefully I end up with one with like a good hit percentage one day, just by playing through. Either a Gurren or a Shuren, since both of them are kind of interchangeable. Oh, that reminds me, Hopefully, he needs this mag back. He did not mean to give that one to me. You got ho you even saw Halloween rappies? I legitimately have not seen a single rare on very hard mode so far. It's so sad. Chris, I think, was there through most of my very hard CCCs. We did we did not see the Halloween rappy at any point. Yeah. Yeah, I've, I legit haven't seen any Rappies, even though I've been playing Episode 2. Yeah. So much for Pink ID, Temple, Ultimate, and uh, Blue CCC. You don't even have a cookie. Just wanted to see what he would say to me. QP laser done. Oh, I shouldn't do that. I'm really going to spook him. Keep you laser too strong. And Slicer Fanatic is so good. Nice level up. Ultra dead. Right above me, so I can't shoot it properly. So annoying.
not where I thought it teleported, but we'll take that. Goodbye, Marissa. There we go. Finally something. Even pick it up. Uh, uh, what am I holding that I don't need to hold? I guess not, Ape. Ape dolls I don't want to get rid of. Later. Diamates or whatever. Goodbye, Pyragoron. Nice, what's up, Crystal? Sadly, they're hitting me while I'm getting pulled in. Switch the soundtrack over in just a moment. Did, did I miss my demon prop? Wow, that's kind of unlucky. What was that? Three attempts at 75%? Yikes. It's not like I didn't have a 158% chance to hit. <laughs> like, Ramor, Ramor's not missing those. I'm oh, just saying, chat. I'm just saying. I'm gonna stand in the corner for a second. Okay, so next up on the sar car blah. soundtrack is the Car Battler Joe, is what I was trying to say. I read it, I was tired, I combined words. This is also by the same company, created by his family, so I think that means Ancient made it. Close, that sucks. I think for the quest, I should have put a couple of guns away because I'm not used to swapping between Slicer and Heaven Striker. Menuing is a bit awkward. Should help significantly. I don't think I've ever heard of Car Battler Joe. Apparently it came out on Game Boy Advance. Got a hero Gorm Detonator. Nice level ups for the team. Look at that. Fomor is already 113. That's a respectable level. Go on are the days of being 99. It's already one from 133 to 135, not bad. More damage for Pew Pew Laser. It's at the bottom of my menu. I'll get through it eventually. Let's do this to make sure that they have an easy out. They all grouped up over here. It's easy for me. Fine. Be able to hit 191 by end of the event with this character because I, I usually do so. I've been doing a lot of solo TTF with this character to just get used to it. Now that the Ramar can survive Sinnoh, slash, I don't have to do the Sinnoh room, so I don't feel like I'm missing out on the 101s. 
That did make green ID quote unquote feel better for single player, but definitely much worse for multiplayer. I'm like, man, I do actually want to do those extra hunts for V101, rip those hunts. Oh, that was such a tease. There is a zoo out that died, and I was like, oh, is that the V101? Hey, at least I'm getting some PDs. I'll need them eventually. Essentially for challenge mode as a reminder, uh, I think it's Hell's... Hell, Demon, and one other special is 50. Might be Charge. Berserk, I think, is like one tier under, if I remember correctly. Spirit, I think, is also one tier under, so it costs 40. We need a lot of PDs if we want to do challenge mode things. Upgrade them. I'm going to need at least 100 PDs if we do two challenge mode missions. So if chat does not have it, this is their opportunity to get up to 50 PDs. Ooh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna miss on that weapon select. Bridge is actually dead. Get bullied with regular ATP damage from Slicer. Material in here somewhere that I'm looking for. There we go. Yeah, I can kind of make small profits as Romar while it's even beat. It's not too bad. You can probably afford to do one more cookie before even beat is like pretty much over. If Chris is one more, we'll do one more. Actually, I don't need to sell it. Thought about it and like that. Take the money from the quest though. One more should be good. There we go. Small miss set of games. Will be a last call for Cookie Quest. Keep the game up for a little bit. I'm looking at the cover art of Car Battle or Joe, and I'm like, what am I looking at? It's like a small robot that has like a power plug for an arm with like a Chow head or Bob or whatever you want to call it, except this time it's a small light. And we have like one of the most 90s looking kids ever. His colors just make no sense. Like purple shirt, purple pants, bright orange wrist things. Oh no, they're finger- oh they're not wrist things, they're fingerless gloves, excuse me. And of course the classic scar over the cheek. <laughs> just, what, what, a, what a compilation of images I'm looking at. stream briefly. There we go. We'll trim it down a little. There you go. Look look at look at him chat. Look at him. What am I looking at? Another crash. Oof. <laughs> Something else. Anyway, let's remove that. I was gonna say, I, feel, I had a feeling Chris would like the robot. It's <laughs> part of the reason I showed it. Mm hmm. Like, it's like, wow. It's a look for the character. Yeah, we should still be able to complete it, even with the crash. There we go. Parameter at a nice 113. Pretty survivable level for single player, while still having enough MST for clears. Every level up matters for uh, bringers, of course. Okay. 
There we go, I got a flex on him. challenge mode between the two events, even if it takes us a couple of sessions, because, you know, we're, we're trying to refine the times or we're just learning strats or whatever, I think it should be doable. At least getting, like, a hell shot would be good, which means chat's gonna have to help name my weapons. Like, we need locked in names, because I don't want to be sitting on the screen for, like, five minutes while we do those kinds of things. I'm telling you right now, I want a hell shot, and I'm probably gonna go for a hell J cutter. They're gonna be my first two things, because I think both of those would open up runs for me. I'll make it easy. You'll even know what special it is. There's no indecision there. Demon, Demon Mech Gun is probably my third choice. But right now, because I have Rocket Seals waiting, and potentially I want to compare Rocket Seal versus Yuka Seal in terms of like uh, Temple Clear. I want to see how different it feels. Oh no, Helen's back. Didn't mean to walk over there. I got confused because the Rappy health bars were still up, and I'm like, wait, wait, they're actually dead. Their health bars lied to me, chat. It said 2k. Back up slightly to maybe get both of them. Normally this would be scary, but I'm like, listen, I got the charge arm, I don't care about anything. Pew pew, goodbye everything. <laughs> Versus are normally horrible to be surrounded by. If I ever requested an episode 4 quest, I'd request that they would be in more waves, but there'd just be like one or two of them, as opposed to like six. And they would just be in like every single wave, but the waves would also just be fire weak. <laughs> They would not show up in waves of the Goron Detonator, for example. But maybe re regular Gorons. And definitely Satellite Lizards. Just have Oops All Fire. Get these guys real quick. Ooh, that was super fast. Charge Arm. Uh... Oh, that is sad. The Gurdabulu was outlived by just regular Gorons. Blister Fanatic too strong. Why oh, that Rappy ran? It was pretty close to it. Somebody else hit it. Yo, that dude wants me. Get out of my face. I 
power shots do more than my pew pew laser, and if it crits, it does way more. Like, I'm learning to kind of balance out pew pew laser. It's just a tool, but not like the only weapon I use. Definitely easier as you get higher level. Fly on ATP and MSC. I do think, I, I like the concept of Divine Punishment in terms of like, there's an attack that makes MST actually worth having on Rangers. I wish Forces had something that was similar. I think that was a big missed opportunity. That way, like, the Bone Newell would be, like, the queen of the, those special type weapons, but not necessarily the best at tech, so I would be okay with that. Like, a trade-off. If they can have different damage formulas for different characters, they could have given damage formulas to uh, forces if they wanted to a bit uniquely. It would have been funny watching people run around with like the Hilda Blue Head or, or Hilda Bear Head for uh, Chained Foeys, for example. It still fits the item theme. I have no idea what I'm menuing. Brain like lost what I was doing for a second. No way than I thought. That's fun. More luck material. But otherwise, I think I'm good to go. Like whenever we I decide to make the Hugh cast and Raw cast army, you're definitely good to go. I have to double check how many power up mags I have for the future. I definitely have one for Ramar, I think. If not, I'll just pay for it. Because so I want to complete, uh, I want to have like the two Ramarls with a Ramar on one bank. I will probably have a green Phonumen, Sky Phonumen, or orange Phonumen, what I mean. So that's two Phonumen I need to make. And then from there, I'm not sure. It'll probably be Hue Cast of all the Episode 1 stuff to some extent, because I do like Hue Cast. But I'm also kind of leaning, maybe I just have a wall of raw casts instead. And just get rid of my Humar. Just have another Hue cast. Because right now the Humar doesn't do anything. He's yellow ID, which is awkward, because it's not a good episode 1 boss rush. That's like the only thing the Humar can do. Like, to a really significantly easy degree. It's like, mmm... I don't really want to take him to tower. I don't really want to do episode 4 with him. If we're doing Temple, I'd just rather play other characters. So it's like, uh. One day. Honestly, I thought about remaking him, but he has so much gear on him. I would need to make another character just to hold his gear first. Maybe we'll, we'll do that for another day, where chat will just remake my humor. Or if nothing else, designs my humor. I don't think chat had an opportunity to make him. Most of the starting characters, like this character, are from before I started streaming. Like Azure and Crimson and Jeff, for example. They're all just... These stream days. I think even to an extent, my faux Newmans were not on... I think the first two character banks were not on stream. I don't mind giving a makeover to some of them, where I just don't use them that much. I'll not let chat remake my Rocka Seal, though. I like that character. Any character with the normalish name? Yeah, true. Yeah, I've always been meaning to do- like, I made a raw moral that I wanted to have the looks of, but I don't think I really want to have another raw moral, sadly. She's kind of like Samus colors, where she's got like green hair, but purple outfit. Very much uh, NES style colors. Where is this luck material? 
I need this luck material. Where is it? No, I'll take the defense material. Uh, I guess it must be the one over here then. Oh, like, what's that thing I didn't walk to? No. Oh, unless it's marked as red on the minimap. No, it can't be. Hey, where is it? Oh, there it is. Okay, I was gonna say. It's like, wait a minute. I thought I checked that one. My bad. Let's put away our escape doll. We seem to be collecting quite a few potentially here. Yeah, because he actually doesn't have like a super crazy amount of escape dolls. He has like a lot of junk items. He's got like 20 or 30. I still have all my mags from when I was leveling mags and I just kind of gave up. Rip the mags, chat. Random charge Vulcans for fodder, although that one's real. Yeah, his, his equipment makes no sense, because this is before streaming days. Although him having a hell and demon laser is kind of nice, I guess. That was a decent amount of PDs. Yeah, we're at the end of even beats, so it'll probably be the end of episode 4, at least from a PP laser perspective. How many PDs am I up to? Am I, like, finally touching 70 again? I sure bet. Ooh, 68. Close. I love I just have single event egg. I really should probably spend that on something just to get it out of my bank. I talked about this a couple times on stream. I actually don't like green ID for V101. Or not V101. Well, that's part of the reason, but I don't like it for TTF anymore, honestly. In group games, I've always been preferring red ID, sometimes for Radiant. Honestly, especially during events, I just think red ID is the best ID. It like if you're gonna kill extra enemies, there's so many extra chances of getting good items compared to the other IDs. Like Disco Grape Man or like Lavis Cannon, for example. Like just going out of your way and killing a few ones. I think two hard of items, at least one hard of item is there as well. All of which is potentially worth points. Hmm. Just thinking what quests to do. Welcome back, Imperameter. Is there any quests that either of you would like to do? I'm just deciding if it would make sense to do episode 1, 2, or 4, or something of that nature. <laughs> I know, we'll do Terrell's Ego Full Clear again. Mm. <laughs> you have no preference? There we go. It's like, if I don't make a choice, I can dodge the question. Let's see. What would be interesting to do? It is XP, so doing something with bosses or high enemy counts would make sense, rather than rares. Just thinking if there's something that we haven't done in a while. Get the poison game room, exactly. Yes, from our perspective, is there something I want to do with yellow ID? Contemplating. I forgot yellow ID got a heart of tension blaster from Pan Arms. It's a relatively new ad. But I don't think I want to do caves yellow ID. 
I'm not that I'm not that desperate for Sage or uh, Heaven Punisher at the moment. Hmm. Let's see, we do have a force. I could bring damage somewhere. I mean, I guess we could still technically stick to episode four if Chad has no preference. The only thing is I just change who I'm playing. That's all. Yeah, well, let's do that. I'm gonna bring in a cast. That way we have some crowd control. Check and do we'll do a normal boss clear. Cause I'm thinking, you know, I think Chris mentioned he wanted swordsman lore. I'm always looking for Galatine. Daylight Scar is a good backup. In theory, Cannon Rouge is here. Just air quotes, chat. It, it it allegedly exists. I've still not seen it. Oh, that's not the right bank. See, so yeah, I'll bring in I'll bring in a raw cast who can deal with the boss regardless of beat and also traps are key. As long as we have Fomar for buffs and debuffs, I think we're fine. Uh, we're just doing more episode four. It's it's a lot of enemies and it's also XP. As I was thinking, uh, we we could save boss rush for like a, a like another hour from now. Although I might take a very small break in an hour to go pick something up, and after that we'll end the stream. Yeah, if you just want to bring in somebody to level, that's fine. They don't have to be like crazy strong or anything, because I'm going to be damage carry, and then the parameter is going to be damage carry, presumably. Uh, so I'll host this yellow rock house. to V502 for a little bit. At least on the surface, I probably want it. Also, how much ATA do I need? Three ATA away. So that means I could actually switch this off for a Centurion if I want to. Interesting. Hmm. Do I have another Centurion? Maybe? I did put a lot of them on the phone new roll, because she needs as much help as she could get. Chris, meanwhile, has to contemplate life. <laughs> oh, he's bringing in the Hugh to seal. Not bad. Let's do... Oh no, I don't have a spare Centurion. Damn. That would have been exactly how much ATA I needed. Crashed again. Oof. Sorcerer's right arm, I might know. That away, I guess. Yeah, I should be able to at least deal with Dorfon for the group. And then after that, I'm just gonna leave PP Create on. Sorry the game keeps crashing. Yeah, I, I do think it boots you if your connection is bad, unfortunately. There's not much you can do about it. We've seen it a couple times. La last event? I think it was last event. doesn't seem to have a lot of leniency with it, sadly. <laughs> I like there's literally a character in our guild that they named them Trade Shop. That's amazing. I actually don't know who who is Trade Shop. I don't know whose ult that is. That's funny. <laughs> like most of the other people in here, I know exactly who it is, but Trade Shop, I don't know. Okay, we got a nice little group of people. I 
I mean, it makes sense. Gotta trade at some point. extra star so i'm almost at max atp which is pretty good i mean almost 1350 is pretty strong defense is almost max eta is max luck is max centurion probably would have pushed me the rest of the win i'll avoid purchasing it that should be fine so chris will have to play the dodging game against the dwarf on and then he'll stay in the central chamber versus the boss. Everything else should be fairly straightforward, at least. Okay, so I'm assuming it's just the three of us. Yeah, I like being able to play cast a bit more, since when I'm single player, I could play force or, you know, my rangers pretty easily, but... Cast is kind of awkward. Not, it's not undoable. It just ends up being more expensive than it should be. Welcome, Draken. Hope you're doing well. Oh, Draken, let me know if you wanted to hop in. We do have a free slot. We're just doing boss quests at the moment. Get out of here, Rampius. wondering what was happening. I was like, that's right, I didn't swap it all. I'm just gonna hard crowd control for the group. You'll join next round? No worries. You got some time. We'll be like 25-30 minutes, if I had to guess. This quest is quite long. And stuff on PSU, nice, nice. trying very hard. There we go. Look how easy this makes life. We'll play supportive broadcast for now. Underground I'm going full damage though, I'll be real with you. Thank you, Fireball. I saw that Zalore, and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna press the delete button now. Poor Buddhas. Yeah, we're, we're gonna make the Force's life ultra easy. Welcome to V502 land. Look at that, they're all cheering. Like, yay, shoot me, shoot me. Why's the Buddhas? There we go. Look how easy this run is, chat. Mm. Easy peasy. Oh, that didn't land. E502, he betrayed me. Whatever. Oops, all arrests, pretty much. I'll let chat deal with those. I'm gonna wait for the zoos here. I'm gonna try to position on them. more important that I clear them out than deal with those other enemies. There we go. There's my arrest. Slash paralyze. Technically, I think it's a weaker version of arrest. Whatever. I step will paralyze. Chat might want to back up. I'm going to have a bad time. Ooh, fireball hit them early. That's unfortunate. I mean, I can lock them down. It's just more awkward. They're not really close to each other. Now, the nice thing about Paralysis is that, unlike Freeze, you can restack it. If you're wondering why they didn't get uh, 
out of it after the first time they got out. It's just I stacked paralysis. Fun fact. I'll take a tri-fluid for a force friend for later. Even with triple add-up, this quest is kind of draining on resources. Unless you're doing, like, triple add-up and then, uh, some insanity, like the, uh, Mother's Guard, but you can't do that with that character. There we go. Their evasion is basically zero. Hmm. Crowd control of this team right now is impressive. I'm actually gonna deal with the zoo first. Do a couple pot shots over here. Team out a little. There we go. Forces life is just so much easier when they're not getting wailed on 24 7. Might as well take some pot shots while I can. I don't have a melee weapon on me, so. If I confuse them, they'll face away from me. Even if I don't manage to confuse them, it's fine. Ooh, almost got a one-shot kill. Alright, these fireballs need to stop. Knock it off. I'm like, you're the, the time for you to win is over. Okay, we just kill the Astarch. That's like the only threat. Oh, hey, a cookie. Convenient. I don't really want to do cookie hunts. I want to make sure we do the boss with yellow, but hey. Let's go up a cookie. So I've officially gotten more cookies today. I've, I have infinite more cookies than the entire rest of the week. Welcome home, please. Did you want to hop in some boss runs, Hellclean? What are these? Four door fawns. He tried, though. The real question is, now that we've seen multiple Halloween cookies, will we dare see yellow ID dwarf on Eclair and get potentially a Cannon Rouge chance? Nice level 90. On five days without cookies. As I said, I didn't get a single cookie. I don't even think I got one last Sunday. I didn't get anything between now and today. That can come before me if they want. Chris is offering to hop out as needed. Yeah, unfortunately, Chris is suffering from some connection issues. Sorry, Chris is dealing with that, but at least he got some levels and cookie runs. We did some Heaven Striker cookie runs for you, Pelkly. We're like, oh no. My connection bad it could cookie luck is worse, true. Yeah, I think I picked up two today so far, which is as I said before, it's just infinitely higher than what I had before. Or is that my third? I don't remember. Very hard sounds like either blue ID episode four or blue ID temple unsealing. If I had to guess. I can't imagine what else you would be hunting there. There we go. Goodbye, Astar. You know what? Despite not having the PP crate on, I'm building a ton of meter because I'm not using charge arm. Kind of satisfying. Oh, they were just from the cookie. Oh, that's funny. Well, I was slightly out of position. I knew the zoo would be there, but I was like a little off. Kind of want to hunt some hard of drops. I'm very hard eventually. Oh, I I will tell you right now. I I am not the person to do those. I have no interest. If they're on ultimate and they happen to be on a quest we're already doing, it's fine. Like PTF. But otherwise, I'm like nah. <laughs> oh, like you're on your own on that one.
I was gonna say, I mentioned- okay, so Hope Cleave is unlocking something. I was curious. Uh, these enemies just got actually hosed. Alright, so I'm gonna back up a little bit. So as long as we don't go Foey too early, I should be able to stun them. But we'll wait a few seconds, and then we'll go Foey, and then this should be GG. That's I think, perfect for me, actually. There we go. See, this is why I wanted to be raw cast. This specifically right here is why I wanted to do raw cast into this. Look how look how efficient that was. What a time save. <laughs> Don't have to worry about getting stomped on repeatedly. Yeah. Chris is the lower than 720 health doesn't die because we never let them do anything. All good. That's what control looks like, chat. <laughs> what a difference the run makes. Well, anyway, I think I could just unequip P502 if I want to. I think it is possibly charge arm time. They're gonna teleport a bit, so I'm gonna let the forest get some pass in. Maybe I'll do a freeze trap first, like this. Not the item I thought I got, but we'll take it. Yeah, I've been very gradually unlocking stuff. I was originally going to do another event where we do two games at once, but honestly, with how nerfed it felt, I was like, uh, I don't think it's really worth it. <laughs> Rather just do the event at that point. Although that quadra of paralysis was so good. I got a select cloak. I think people are looking for those for, uh, what's it called? I'll drop a tri fluid. Forge items. I can't remember the name of the quest. Yeah, we'll leave that tri fluid for our friend there. Yeah, Chris did get a limiter earlier, so he, he did look out a little bit today at least. He's officially gotten more limiters than me than I think in a year. <laughs> Pretty sure. Oh, rare Rappy. Oh, it's probably gonna get spooked. Oh, got spooked. Rip. No XP. So sad. Some of the cloaks went up by 12, wow. Yeah. I remember people complaining in the forum, they're like, oh man, I can't find any select cloaks, and I'm like, man. I've just been sitting on like five of them. <laughs> just, I don't do anything with them. They just sit there. I'm like, maybe one day I'll play Fomar, I'll select Cloak into episode four. In Gathering Dust. Poor Gertabulu. I don't have demons, but I can just shoot them, shove them down every time. Poor enemy. Do I have Twin Blade? No, not on this character. I think only my Hue cast has it. I'm like, I'm not going first. Let's do this though. What I want to do is probably put a freeze trap in the corner. The pot shots here to speed it up. Put another freeze trap here. Oh, I think the other one went off earlier or something. That's unfortunate. I had the right idea. Is slightly too early. Okay. I mean, I'll still use B502 here. This is fine. But we'll freeze these solid, give Chad a chance to just get Bowie stack. Easy kills. I've been very careful to make sure to shoot them in a certain way so they don't teleport as often. So I, I make sure I visually confirm I hit them with the shot without the teleport, then I paralyze. That has seemed to seemingly worked every time. Maybe maybe it's a skill issue with dealing with their teleports. Or just do this. Because otherwise, it is possible to hit them while they're teleporting with paralysis, which is kind of annoying. 
If they start up the animation, they'll teleport and they'll just be untargetable. Definitely wastes a ton of time. But so far underground, I haven't had that happen. As I said before, I've been I've been trying to pay attention. I can't just like autopilot it. I'm like, okay, did they teleport on the first shot? Yes, no. Just go for it. I love Spread Needle. I could see myself using an Arrest Needle on this character, because I actually like it for damage. <laughs> I don't need this special. It'd be fun if I could make the accuracy almost feel like if Ramar had the, this level of paralysis. Could be fun. Is he's the other character that I do solo episode 4 with. Where I feel like he's actually good enough. And I use Cannon Rouge on the boss instead of PP Laser. Depending on the beat. So I do have Super Mag Blast if I just want to murder the boss. I like need it, need it. So we know that these enemies are going to take a little bit of time. I want to get beyond them since I know... 100% for a fact that there's going to be multiple enemies. The problem is, I have to kind of time when I think the wave is going to die. So I'm going to shoot some of them. That way I have a better idea of when the wave is going to die. Okay. Wave is getting close. I'm going to put a freeze trap here. A freeze trap over here. Hopefully this will work. And the land the paralysis. So sad. I think this works. Yeah, I was gonna say, that still works. So I did delay them. Make life easy. Oops, I was expecting to dive a little further. I mean, look at this chat. The crowd control is disgusting. Thank you, V502. Mm, put a confused trap down. Make it easier for the hunters to do damage. So I like that confused trap still has purposes. Like if we're not like the most optimized team, like we're playing three out of four players, like it is actually pretty useful to do. Kind of back up and charge on them. traps are just so good here. Look at him go. Aw, oh, no swordsman lore. Could you imagine though? Killing that Gerda Bulu, just dropping that item. Do I have a spare skip doll to get to the chat? Wouldn't it hurt? Yeah, let me just drop one of these since I found one. Never hurts to provide the chat with safety. Ooh. That guy, I thought I hit with the freeze trap, to be fair. He still died though, which is fun. Also ripped the soundtrack. Put a freeze trap down and then this. Huh, slightly out of paralysis range. Right, this wave, I have some opportunities to look at the soundtrack because I don't do anything in these waves. Right, so car battle or Joe was the last one. Oh, there's still a couple songs left. We have amazing island coming up next. Anyway, back to fighting. What? What? Why couldn't I hit my own trap? Wait, what? Why couldn't I hit the trap? Trap shoot, please. 
I got trolled. I still got freeze traps left, I can burn a few. I might as well as, right chat? Let me just only one real wave left I would potentially use it on. Be this one. If I wanna focus the bird, I can just leave a freeze trap down and deal with those. Yeah, there would have been a bad point to paralyze. Yeah, this is the final possible wave it would ever be used on, so we did use all of our freeze traps. I consider that a successful mission of traps. Still have nine confused traps left, even though I've been using them fairly frequently. Down a couple of fire traps, why not? Immediately paralyzed, get wrecked. Alright, so I should be able to join in. If I hear somebody use dolphin, I can go do it. I guess I could also just walk up in Dolphin. Yeah, let me, maybe I walk up it. Well, my EVP is only 642. Does anybody have higher than me? I'm assuming the Fodu rule has better. Fight level differences, because Rock has EVP is terrible. I don't need this. I'm gonna drop the escape doll. There it is. Uh -oh. Otherwise, I guess I'll- because I'll go to the boss room. Chris can stay in the middle chamber. Yeah, the evasion power. Yeah, Chris is too low level. There's no way. I think the phone world might actually have higher than me. I would not be surprised if they were like 750 or something. Be real. I'm at like 675 total. Oh, you only have 63 photon blast. Well, that also solves it. Okay, as long as somebody donates, we should be fine. 771. Oh, I mean, as I said before, <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. I think it's 750. It wasn't too far off. Uh, so I have to be the one that not initiates it, I think. Yeah. There we go. Operation kill a good one. right near the team to make it easy. Nicely done. There you go. Glitch is already 93. Let's say. I think Chris, Chris Chris's glitch, I think it was 80 at the start of the week, if I remember correctly. I'm gonna try to dolphin this boss if I mess that up. I'm not gonna do it right away. I'm gonna do safe strats. If I think it's desync, I'm just gonna go for Dolphin. That should fix it. So it's possible Imperimeter might build enough meter to kill it. We'll see. I'm gonna go around the sides. That's an annoying missile, actually. The only thing I- oh, come on. The only thing that could hurt this character. Please don't do spinners. Lasers I don't care about. They at least knock me down. Oh, I don't have a 100% hit chance. I should just do normal strikes then. Welcome, welcome Pipa. Hope you're doing well. more shots and I'll just dolphin. Next time it goes down, I'm gonna dolphin. I'm like, I had enough. I'm not I'm not risking this. Get out of here. This will also buff Chris's damage if he donated. So that'll help him clear the middle chamber easier. Now I don't need to worry about desync at all. Goodbye. Oh, that didn't actually kill. Oh, that was shocking. 
Our EV, our evasion power is too low. Oh, Crystal died. Rip. Oh well. No quick kill for us. <laughs> Literally nothing hit in Parameter on the screen. <laughs> the boss was still prepping an attack there. Rip Chris. I think he got too close to laser. I'm gonna try to revive him here. I want him to get the XP. Oh, I'm out of moons. Oh, I can't revive. Can't burn them all out. That's awkward. Uh, I'm gonna need Imperameter here so he gets XP. Uh, this is awkward. So many annoying spinners. I didn't even think to check if I was low. I guess I burned them up earlier. I'm just gonna wait it out until Chris gets revived. I can't do anything until then. I'm gonna give XP to the team. Oh. Get all those hits. How did it not auto aim correctly there? What? I feel like I'm getting cheated. It's like, what? It's such a big hitbox. How did it not lock on? What madness. I love that Glitch's character also glitched through the character barrier. Like, their face or their little antenna went through it for some reason. So sad. I need to buy moons. That's all I learned out of this experience. I'm getting trolled. 354,000 experience. Not bad. Does add up quite quickly. I'm not sure if Draken wanted to hop in. Otherwise, we'll extend the invite for the fourth slot for Hellcleave, where I think if Chris is done, then we have two slots open. Yeah, it was about 25 minutes. It, it was within expectations. Would have had 24 if I had Moon Atomizer, so... I think I saw them in my menu and just went, nope, I don't need those. Oh, my Synchro is so terrible. Prefer Synchro Chat. Yeah, I really actually don't mind playing Rawcast into Episode 4. I think people exaggerate how annoying it is to clear. I don't like doing solo clears, but man, multiplayer is so free. Like, mmm. And I'm like, hey, people want to use the justification that episode 2 is okay because you play multiplayer, that episode 4 is fine. <laughs> I could use that logic on that. Sort our inventory slightly. There we go. Got the tickets. So we'll do another one. Let's switch soundtracks. I bet. Oh, we're back to Wang to Midnight. Okay. These. What's the one after that? Joke upon the world. What? <laughs> is this? Oh, is it? Is this supposed to be Joke upon Kingdom? No, it's a different game altogether. What is this? Never heard of this other one. Hmm. I can't find a soundtrack for it, so I might have to skip it. We'll listen to one song as people set up. Apparently. Alright, uh, chat's ready to come in. Nice, nice. Let's do more yellow ID. We'll listen to about a minute of this other game that I can't find. And we'll go back to like the maximum tune. And then I think what we could do, once we do a yellow run or two, we could probably end with a cookie. Well, I might need to take a small break after this, actually. I'm looking at the time. But I'm thinking we could do at least one cookie run for Draken and Hellcleave. I think that's fair. But I might need us to sip before a small break. Since I have to talk with family for a few minutes, hopefully it won't be too long. I forget how long this run is. Mm -hmm. 
I think we're good. Sorry about that. Yeah, I'm gonna offer all the crowd control. Team can do whatever they want. I could see myself enjoying this role with Rocka Seal as well. Maybe I'll do some more runs this way in the future. But for the first few waves, what I'm going to end up doing is just messing with the music, so apology. Here we go. So my spread needle is always a top, because I seem to be swapping into it pretty often. Might as well shoot a fire trap or two here, since the damage is so high. Wow, already paralyzed by somebody else. Brutal. What a what a nasty team we have. GG to these enemies, they're not getting a turn. And hopefully this psycho wanting them, if I'm not mistaken. Disrespectful. <laughs> Just look at this. Let the raw moral do some damage. Do charge bolt in here, speed this up a little. I'm gonna set up for the next wave. Not a forest. Oh, was it Whis we to get that? Maybe it was Whis I was looking at. I wasn't paying attention to who was who. Get out of here. Look on drop. Alright, there's a lot of fireballs out here, which means it's gonna be really awkward to Okay, they died down a little bit. Fine then. I want to clump them a little more. That should work. Perfect. Hopefully you're doing healthy things. Yeah, I was thinking Force only because we were talking about unsealing earlier. I was like, oh, maybe he's playing Force to unseal. I'm like, never mind. I see the Scythe. <laughs> I can tell which one is Elkly. Big Scythe says hello. These guys are just actually getting massacred right now. Double force, Sophie. Like I'm prepping my charge Vulcan shots just to make sure I kill the Astark instantly. That's gonna be my only goal here. Need to do anything else. Let fire cleanse the rest of this area. Uh, they're they're pretty locked down. They're they're not getting out of this. Though I like them doing the vibrating light attack forever. Nice 
pass the gun. <laughs> it's just an absolute massacre. Let's feel bad for them. I try to be on zoo duty, because I, I do do the most damage. I should probably aim to kill them instantly. So much damage. I'm standing under the zoo by accident. I don't mean to do that. Positioning's a little off there. Team has a million years to reposition. There we go. Goodbye, Astar. Easy cleanup. Sadly, no door for an Eclairs. Maybe one day. Materials actually. I think I'm averaging almost one luck material a run at this point. Pretty solid. Yeah, this wave is easy to make them teleport by accident, so I'm trying not to. Dang it. Why, why is one of them dodging the freeze? I want to understand. Am I just like slightly off? It must be. Unfortunate. So sad. Skill issue. I'll learn. Kill you. Deal with the back wave so they don't get bullied. I'm probably gonna skip the lyrics. To be on the safe side. Arch Vulcan time for uh, arm. I just really have only been 82 or 85% chance of hitting them with that. Which is sad. I do. Paralyze these guys for free. Over here. We're going to Bulu. This is one way to do the Rappy Chat Bazooka. Alright, let's try that other strat again. So they're gonna start hitting the zoo. I'm gonna put a freeze trap down, let's say over here. Maybe I just put the freeze trap too close to them before. Yeah, there we go. I think I just put it too close before. That way it just gives the team a huge amount of time to deal with these enemies. Sort of like this. I was gonna teleport behind me, so I'm like, that's fine. Teleport over there if he wants to. Be careful there, they're starting to teleport. I think has more- oh, you know what it is, more than one ranger. <laughs> I think that's what's happening. If they get triggered early, because I'm like, but the forces aren't gonna trigger them. I'm like, wait, I gotta respect health boost to shots. I think that's what the difference is between this run and the others. Because hunters will generally not trigger them. Forces will almost never trigger them. So I gotta be careful about long shots. Unless it's PPU laser, then it's like whatever. Up down. By zoo. Probably just drop 
my teletypes. I'm not getting any value from these. If I start seeing fluids, I'll just drop them. Even if it's just a couple die fluids. Yeah, I think that's what's happening. I think they're reacting to the shots of the other character. So I'm like, I'm setting up for a freeze trap, but they're already teleporting. Both on crystal. Oh, wow, chat seems just so high they died before the freeze trap activated. Kill the zoo. Hellcleave. Long live Hellcleave. Back up a little so I can shoot all three. Perfect. It's life easy. Fire traps because I got nothing better to do. Yeah, these guys are just hosed forever. <laughs> Frozen paralyzed, GG. I got a few of them with them. Do this, look at you. If they walk into the freeze trap, that's fine. I ended up with a few more free traps than I should have, so I need to be more aggressive, is what I learned. I, I mean, I did use like 16 out of them, but I could have done better. Worker to Bulu just actually out there getting murdered. Care what boss we get, other than you know, it'll it'll either be Galatine or Daylight Scar. I don't think Chat will be super mad at either of those choices, honestly. That's just kind of a win-win, no matter what the boss decides to do here. We're gonna get a Galatine chance here. No Swordsman Lore from Gurdabulu, sadly. Maybe next time. I did an orange one. We got some time to set up on this enemy. Yeah, I'll definitely use my cannon rouge on the boss. I'm definitely going into the next area. Big damage coming. the mag blast. Your witch, I better feed my mag. Might make a difference. Slightly too early. 
Shredders, of course. This is so much damage. Oh, found a safe spot. Take those. I think even when they reel back, I still hit them for damage. Yeah, Canterbury is also just kind of an easy win on the four Saint Million here. The next time he stands up, I might just probably just double cannon him. So I've been keeping him in sync. Let's finish him. The quadruple crit, disgusting. Hell cleave as meter. I'm just gonna donate with twins. I'm gonna listen for it. I tried breaking the cutscene. I was so close, chat. No, I almost broke the cutscene. I even activated it. So sad. How's the cookie haul? I actually got a surprising amount today. I think it made up for how bad the rest of the week was. We're all saluting Hellcleave, apparently. Beast is like, none of that. Oh, no Galatine for me. Next run, we'll level this character. I think what we're gonna do, since I'm gonna go on break soon, I'm gonna switch characters. And what we're gonna do before I go on break, I'm gonna do one cookie run with the group, and I need some time to. Well, it, I guess it depends on how fast this is. I do have the mag health clean. <clears throat> I unfortunately have no room to take it out with this character to help you. Uh, put this away. The raw cast life. I'm just out of slots, always. <laughs> the hit Drain Club. I'll give it to Hellcleave in the next area. This this character is gonna be swapped out anyway. This character should level next time I do a quest, which is nice. He's not at max ATP, surprisingly. Okay, so from that standpoint, I'm gonna switch over to green ID. I think with two forces, it's fine. We'll lock down everything else. And I'll give Hellcleat back the mag. Yeah, Rockhast has like no slots at all times. When people are trying to trade me items when I'm playing him, I'm like, him and the Hugh cast, I'm like, I don't think I have a free slot ever. Ramar, I have like three weapons. <laughs> like Charge, Vulcan, Slicer, maybe Frozen Shooter, and a Rouge. It's all good. How many does he have? Like five on him? Cur oh, he is a lot because I was doing. In my defense, I was doing TTF solo. That requires a bit more. Otherwise, I don't even need things like Excal. We'll give Hellcleave the mag. On a normal mode, though. Game, please. It did not like my speed of typing. Uh, so I don't need Excal versus here, so I'm gonna go put that away so I can pick up Hellcleave's bag and also get the cookie. Even Canterbury is not necessary for this run. I'm also not sure why he has Frozen Shooter out. Don't even use that in TTF at all for anything. Anyway, let's go take this. We'll get one cookie. Bonk. Yeah. I'll double check which mags I have. I'll talk with Hellcleave. <laughs> like, I need to figure out, because I technically still have two characters I can make. I was thinking I might need another Phonumin 
because I actually technically don't have a green Phonumen. Good to have, I think, at some point. Although I do like the Fomar, so it's really just what I feel like doing in the future. This character needs levels, so I'm just gonna bring him in forever. Oh, I got hit by the other zoo. Seriously? That messed up my combo. Unlucky. Just targeting one got hit by another. Oh, they're alternate. I like I could get away with basically just using Demon the entire time I'm here and not bothering with ATP because we have forces. Like, it just doesn't matter. As long as I wound them a little, it's like good enough. That's too close. I mean, I guess that just shows how overpowered Demons is. Like, I could literally be like a 130 Ramar and legit still be contributing just by spamming Demons over and over. Oh, now getting tagged by that other Goron Detonator. That was just rude. Why are they all fighting me? I'm trying to Demons them. How rude. <laughs> just take the Demons and die. The Demons should make them super easy to kill. Ooh, we're out of range. Making me do something other than demons. How rude. Oh, speaking of rude, that blocked my movement there. Whatever. Our material. My grinder. Might as well as loot. I'm not gonna participate in the Yahweh yeah, wave. Other enemies, I'll be like, sure. Try. Ooh, Demon failed to proc. Unlucky. There we go, that time it proc. I'm just gonna do oops all demons here. I'm not even gonna SNS cancel. There we go. Dead. Take a charge arm this a little bit. That'll speed. The 
There we go, landed my demon. That's all I needed. It's fine. So I'm basically just hyper focusing on like orb detonators and just letting satellite lizards perish instantly to the wall of flame. This will be working so far. I switched to Yacht Minikov because that's really high up in the air due to good bowing. Makes hitting them with certain weapons kind of awkward. Those guys are ultra dead. Just do ATP damage, they're already pretty good. Yeah, see what I mean? Like, I just, I can't target them with anything other than Yash, they're too high up. Oh, this should be my opportunity to shine, there we go. That other one died like nearly instantly. Holy. Goodbye. Almost 800 XP a second at the end of the quest. Wow. Uncontested XP gain. I was gonna say, in Parameter, if you wanna do another one of these runs, if you wanna chip in a cookie that you just got, <laughs> I don't mind. That, that run did not take that much time at all. I think I have enough time. Get these out of the way. Materials while we're here. Sadly, mostly evade, it looks like. Just not worth a lot. Unfortunate. Looking for the mine material. It must be over here. What a crazy quest. So, fortunately, this character should now level. It's all these just to get a little bit of cash back. host another game. It'd be nice to have this character finally level up. I do like that he's already using D502 full time. It's a good feeling. I don't think I'm going to purchase any D502s in the future, even if I have more characters that could use them. I honestly did like the anniversary quest. I'll probably just run the tower quest over and over. That was so good. We got like, what, four, three or four V502s between you and everybody? A lot. There we go. I want to make sure people that have played a little bit with us get some cookie love during the quest. Dragon's more than welcome to a few. I'll cleave has more than earned a few cookies. Oops. Walked way too far forward. Goodbye, Gerda Bulu. You may strike me down now, but you're already dead.
There we go, charge arm. Finally doing what I wanted to do. Thank you, Yashimnika. So far, no V101s for the group. Don't see green IGs. Hopefully, we start seeing some Heaven Strikers. Like, come on, give it to hell, please. Give, give him a 50 hit one. Get out of here, Gorons. Ultra dead. Bethian asks, any interesting drops? Uh, just limiter, I think, so far. Other than that, it's just been mostly standard drop. Nothing too crazy in the cookie runs themselves, surprisingly. Aside from the lifter. Sometimes we're not even seeing PDs after cookie run. Hopefully you're doing well for me at the end. Except today was rent payment day, always the worst day of the month. That reminds me, I also have to do some taxes later. Should be fine there. Add your Gurdabulu. Nice, leveled up playing Gurdabulu, as it should be. Oh no, I didn't get ATA on a Ramar level up? That sucks. How'd that happen? That feels impossible. Well, that was such a good lineup. I'm proud of that. I killed the Goron Detonator straight into the uh, zoo without reorienting. Yeah, I actually do need the ATA, because I'd like to eventually get off of one of our things adding accuracy to us currently. Oh, did I actually cap? Oh, uh, maybe it's one of those things where I was capped and it didn't tell me. Okay, then I went up an ATA. We're good. The level up lied. I got either fractional level up or I got a real level up, and that means I don't need another unit there anymore. So I got what I wanted either way, is what I'm trying to say. Because before I was off by like 2 ATA, when he was close to 189, yeah, I, th I was going to say fractional shenanigans I think happened. So that's good, I can now fully unequip it. Because I went from needing Heavenly Arms for 6 ATA down to just 3, then I substituted one of them for a Centurion, because I realized I was close enough. Ooh, Heavenly Power. I actually do want those. those. Just talking with Chris the other day. <laughs> Gonna need that for some of my other characters, like Faux Newman's holding x and stuff. There we go. I've now freed up another unit forever on him. Good feeling. That means I could just do... I don't know, something like this. It'll be cast. The concerning area is B502 on. It's good to actually have three free slots. Or technically one. No, two. Technically two. So it's nice to be able to reorient if I want to do cure paralysis, cure freeze, for example. But going forward in these fights, I could just get immunity to those annoying status ailments. track of what wave I was on. Humans, please. There we go. Yeah, 
There we go. Thank you, Chargon. Big damage. That's good timing, because I have to take a break right after this. Great, must clear time. We ended at about 762, so pretty good job. Nice, and somebody got a cookie. There we go. You'll use this one. Yeah, let me know if you're looking for a specific ID, as I said before. I'm willing to swap, but I do need to take a, let's say, two minute break. Shouldn't be too long. So, be right back, chat.
Sorry about that, chat. I am now back. Let's go hand in the quest. So yeah, I should be up for more. I saw that uh, V101 was selected as the item of choice. I can run it again as green ID. Oops. I get my money. So I'm good for like another hour or so, and we'll we'll call it there. These runs don't take too much time, fortunately. They're probably closer to 145. We'll switch over to one TTF or something. There we go. So we are all good to go now. We can sell this item. There's Hellclean. There's Draken. Wasn't sure if Imperameter wanted to hop in. Didn't see him in the lobby. Oh, Chris says welcome back. There's... There's Imperameter. Nice, nice. Also, I hope you've been feeling better, Chris. I know you've been kind of sick the last couple of weeks. Hopefully today is a, a better day for you. Went for a quick ignition cloak. Respectable. Oh, didn't get it. Unfortunate. You haven't got a cookie. Not when he sasses you. Yeah, I was saying, uh, now that Hellcleave is back, we can talk about certain topics. But one of them is potentially starting, I think by next weekend. Potentially doing some challenge mode runs. Now, I understand there's a time zone difference, so I think the beginning of the PSO streams will not be challenge mode, since most people probably won't be available at 9.30. But I'm thinking at approximately, like, 11 a.m. I think that's reasonable for most people to join if they were interested. Finally, we have a covert, so I've only been dealing with chronic. No cookie. Oh no. Rip. You'll be cured of the, the no cookie pain soon, hopefully. So I'm thinking if there's a group of interested people, we could give it a shot. I mean, based off of the current market prices, a single challenge mode weapon is worth, without the upgrades, at least 30 PDs. There is inherent value in it. Oh, I should have switched weapons. That's really. So I want to try challenge mode episode 1 and 2. So we'll see how far we can get with it. So if people have experience with it, I think it would definitely help, because I have never played it before. I'm telling you just straight up. I think when we go to play, in the upper right hand corner of the stream, I'm going to include a map of the current area that we're on, because I know for one I do not know any of the layouts, so if it's available, I'll try to put it there so Chat can kind of see what we're doing. Chronic Pain and No Cookie were not related. Oh, okay, I see what you mean. Or are you dealing with other pains? No Cookie Pain is curable, at least. Yeah, I think a big thing where we're going to potentially need to retry, and it's just because people need to get used to the mode, are not having Heavenly Battle for attack speed. Actually dodging boss patterns. In that order, that, that's my order of concern. I think some bosses are going to be absolutely horrendous and gross. I'm definitely kind of worried about Ogaflow and Episode 1 Worm Boss. Honestly, Episode 2 Worm Boss doesn't really scare me. It's just boring. It just takes forever to kill. But Episode 1 Worm Boss with the constant laser spam and needing to remember where all the safe spots are, I'm like, I don't remember where most of them are on lower difficulties because I just don't play below Ultimate. So honestly, I think he's going to be tougher than Falls, to be real with you. 
Because there's so many different laser patterns you have to know because it's going to be a prolonged fight. Like, we're definitely going to get into the in-the-dark phase with him, which is not something most people will see at this point in the game ever. So needing to... having the group needing to bait in a convenient manner when he does the laser down the middle of the raft, for example, I view as potentially very messy. The lower difficulty one's better than the higher ones. Oh, I don't I don't know the lower ones at all anymore. I don't I know he doesn't immediately hop up on the raft, but I don't know where the safe spots are. Ultimate is free. <laughs> Ultimate I only need to know two patterns and he never goes beyond them. It doesn't matter. And even if he does, he still doesn't hit you. Oh, sorry, stream is frozen. Yeah, I think from the standpoint of uh challenge mode, I'm willing to try both episodes once. Depending on how terrible it goes, I'm, I, it will decide whether I just do it once and quit or not. I'm not going to promise, like, we're going to do it, like, five million times. I at least want to give it a shot, see how it goes. The other thing I kind of wanted to talk about, and we'll get Hellcleave's opinion later, was about HP materials. I think my stance has softened since 2021-2022 era of thinking. I still don't like them. But I'll acknowledge that they're more useful in certain areas than others. Like, I I think having a low amount of HP materials, like, I'm experimenting with 50 out of the cap on Phone Newman to make life easier. See how that feels. Could be worth doing. It, more so if you're doing uh, underground lava death pits versus doing uh, normal clears at episode 4. So I'm seeing how that goes. I don't think my stance has changed that Phonu World is just so low health regardless and her defense is such trash. She needs all the help she could get. So I don't think that opinion has changed very much. I can kind of see some use on the Hugh Seal looking at her max health. She's at a kind of a weird health total where you want to at some point be above 1400 to survive like the double strike of falls. So I could see like towards the late end of the game needing to pump a few HP materials just to get above like a certain damage cap. I'm still of the opinion that I like while leveling to be lower HP than higher HP because you generally just don't have the defense to really back up having that kind of HP total. So for example if I'm doing like Worm Boss that does a mix of set damage and also AoE I really like having lower health at like as low as I could go in order to abuse things like invincibility procs. I do think episode 4 has the most manipulatable invincibility procs outside of playing tower. So if I keep my HP at a certain total, I know the boss's laser is going to reduce me to 10% health. And as long as I keep doing those runs on like rare week versus XP week, I can end up doing a lot more damage overall at my level, even with like slightly different stats. Is the way I view it is like, yes, it will potentially free up a slot if you have Heavenly HP, not times three, unless you get like another Adept in there. But ultimately, especially when it comes to forces, that extra unit just doesn't matter. Like on Faux Newman, am I really excited to have Heavenly Mind, for example? Not really. It's kind of like one of those items. I think it makes a little more sense if you're playing like a cast to maybe free up a slot for like a V5 unit. I could see like an argument for that, but overall, just early on, I'd prefer to get knocked down. Like even in the falls fight, I like being able to manipulate my health totals to make sure that like I get knocked down when hit by Rafoe, for example, rather than go in with too high health, but not enough health to survive the attack normally. So that's my stance on HP materials. I like it on Huka Seal in low amounts. Oh Newman. It makes sense for some runs. Phone New World is the same. She's she, her stats are so terrible. But would I use it on like Hugh Cast, Raw Cast, Rock Seal? No. Love Gapoe stacking six to eight at the same time. Yeah, pretty much. It's just kind of one of those things. Like I I think what's important to all to talk about is thresholds. Like, if you're beyond those HP thresholds, then I would say, like, the case for HP materials makes more sense. Like, if you're already at, like, 180 or 190, and you're already above 1800 health, it's, it usually doesn't matter at that point. Where I'm more concerned is that it's very easy to just kind of lock yourself out of doing some runs by just having too much health. 
So like, for example, I would never want to cap a raw cast HP with HP materials. I don't really want to get not knocked down by dwarf on charges. Do you know what I mean? Because that is a thing that can happen. I've seen it happen. It's disgusting. I would super prefer for that not to happen <laughs> while we play. I'll offer up one more cookie for the group. This will be an honor of Hellcleave to hopefully get him the head of the striker. But yeah, I think the magic numbers for me are 721 health to survive multiplayer episode 4, then 890 to survive boss laser, which again, you can manipulate with heavenly HPs. And if you have like a Nidra on versus like a Rappy Mag, you can take advantage of the invincibility proc since every dwarf on charge means that you are going to, oh, I'm out of space, that you are going to get a chance at an invincibility, which is kind of nice. I have a Dimate, I was wondering how my inventory was weird. So I, I think it just depends. If you don't have any invincibility mags, I would say the case would fall more in the stance of HP materials. But there are a lot of times I'll just use like 150 mind mag over like a Rappy mag, if I have that X HP total. And again, I'm not going to use it like every wave, but it is nice to be able to manipulate them. There we go. Yeah, you'll see me mess around with falls a little more. The other thing that came from experimentation with falls, in particular using a lot of... Uh, um, Using a lot of resistance. I think that was something I was practicing off stream. I don't know how much of that actually ended up on stream. I think only like a really small amount. But I was learning like my new favorite thing to do with falls if I'm playing with like low numbers of people is if I put Glide Divine on and I already have Ignition Cloak or Congeal Cloak on, I'm usually just kind of tanky enough as is with like one other adept to just stand there and spam Gafoe whenever the boss wants to spam spells. So I've been actually enjoying that strategy a lot when it does the ring around the rosy phase. I think I did that maybe once or twice on stream, but I wanted to emphasize that that's an, that's an example where like HP materials would be good because that quest, I'm looking to avoid the knockdown for specific purposes. Like there are times you definitely don't want to be knocked down and that's usually at high level play. But I feel like the inverse is true when I'm low level I don't really want to be the last man standing, quote unquote, against like an army of Sinnoh beats. Do you know what I mean? Or like any of the any of the Sinnohs in general. I'm like, if I, if I don't get knocked down, I die. Like I'm gonna be taking like what 300, 400 a punch. I get triple hit, game over character. So it's like it's kind of finding that nuance in between. So I don't think that opinion will really change that much, just because I think over time, uh, you eventually get armor to compensate for the health total that you're at, or naturally you'll get enough defense through level ups that you don't just instantly explode by somebody giving you a mean look. Unless you're a new rule, then you're just kind of hosed. But I think that's my new stance on materials and kind of manipulating the HP. I think there's a lot of quests that don't necessarily care about it. Like, there's not a lot of times in episode 2 I'm really worried about my health totals, but I think that is more just so... One, there's things like Del Lilies that reset you to one, so it doesn't really matter. And then two, there's not really a lot of attacks offhand where I would want to be doing this at low level regardless. So it's like, I haven't tried doing, like, for example, a lot of, oh, I'm level 80, let's just do Seabed. Do you know what I mean? It's just not a, it's just not a thing I'm going to do. Even though, in theory, it could be helpful to have HP materials, or not use them, depending on the level. Welcome, Nate. Yeah, I do think that, pretty much, I think Qmar, Qcast, Rockcast, Rocket Seal don't really need HP materials. Unless you're beyond a certain threshold. It's like, 720 to, like, 882 is about a sweet spot that I'm looking for. To like really enjoy forces in episode four with invincibility mags. Other than that, if I start going above 900, that means I die to Varans. So I know I don't really want to hit 900 unless I'm gonna go like way over 900. Um, I guess the other big threshold would be. 
probably around 1100, because that's when things stop knocking you down as consistently in single player. Like, I think that's about when laser single player doesn't knock you down. I think. I know another big threshold is 1401, the survive falls. So I guess it just ultimately really depends on where you end up using them, on how useful it ends up being. Like, there's some characters I'll never fight falls with, so I'm not looking to hit 1400 health. I would rather be at, like, 950 or, like, barely 1000. So, oh. Well then. <laughs> right, chat? Oh. Actually, go pick that up. So anyway, uh, <laughs> from the standpoint of falls and things like that, it's just kind of one of those things where I guess it just depends on where your character is. So I think for forces, it's not as needed to get your health as high, unless you're phony rolling. The game was like, no, you gotta drop the subject. You're going on too long, abort. I'm like, fine. I got the hint, PSO. So yeah, generally speaking, you will not see me use HP materials, but I do want to clarify I'm experimenting a little bit. I guess sandbox mode would be a little better for that kind of experimentation, but I really want to make a sandbox character chat and be real with you. I'm interested, but like not that interested at the same time. Oh, I'd rather just do it, and then if I regret it, it's whatever. The only thing I wish that they allowed on the server, and I don't think it would break anything, would be honestly being able to reset HP materials. I don't think that would break anything. Because there's certain characters I really wish I didn't have HP materials on. I feel like they just add too much. Yeah, like exactly what Hulk Leave is saying. Like, finding the sweet spot. Like, I imagine I don't want more than 50, because it's essentially 50 HP materials as a heavenly HP. Like, that's my thought process. Otherwise, I could view, like, 40 HP as, like, a god HP. It's just kind of, like, one of those things where it's just kind of feeling it out. And so far, I will say that 50 HP has been good. But I can also say that if I did go the full 150, I don't think I would like it very much. As I said before, there's there's just a certain point where your units don't really benefit you anymore. Because suddenly if I'm not just getting invincibility triggers on a mind mag character when I'm like level 120, that's kind of a problem for me. Because by then, I should have like 1500 MST on most Phonumens that are already at their normal max stats. So I know at that point, that's like the sweet spot where I really enjoy Episode 4 Forces. Oh, any level lower than that feels a little awkward. But it's like, I'd rather have awkward early game and just have a much stronger mid game. Where if I'm doing solo runs, getting lasered or spinners potentially just resulting in constant iframes is like so stupid fast. Of course, I guess we can also say that with uh, experimentation on those same characters, I should also experiment doing uh, Gal Griffin's wing as a backup, for example. So there are things I have to consider on them a little more, and I think some of that is just going to come with experience. So some of that, I might soften the stance more. I'm not going to say that's my final take. I do think it's probably my final take on the Fonu World, but... For the other characters, it's TBD. <laughs> I know when I got the Rocket Seal accidentally too high in HP, I went, oh well. I if I already passed 2100, I'm pretty much in the kill zone for most multi-hit moves. Oh, nice. Thank you. I'm pretty much past the kill point for most boss moves, where I'm if it multi-hits, I'll probably die. Unless I have, like, really fantastic uh, resists. Did that in the wrong order. This. Um, I'm willing to offer one more cookie, and then after that, it'll be if chat wants to sacrifice one. So I can probably do like two more quests, and then we'll, we'll TTF into lunch hour for me. I'm gonna give Hellcleave that chance at the Heaven Striker. 
Yeah, it's kind of one of those things. Like, funny enough, you, you, we'll talk about the guide at the end of the stream, because I'll, I'll preview it, but, like, no joke. I did put, like, in the raw cast weakness section, that you just, you just die to multi-hits. It's, like, so stupid. It's one of those things you should probably tell new players is gonna happen. Is they won't believe you. They'll, they'll see his stats, they're like, how do you die with, like, 2k health? Aren't you the tankiest character? I'm like, well, there's this thing about PSO. It kind of sucks. Yeah, that V101 is going to be huge. So I'm going to ideally get another challenge mode weapon. I think chat wanted to call my Hell Shotgun Helen. I don't remember how many characters you can fit. So I'm going to I'm going to put that in as my Hell Shot. I need a Hell J Cutter name. Or if you want Helen to be something else, just let me know. And I'll need a Demon Mech Gun at some point. So that'll be something chat has to decide before we finish challenge mode. Weakness so much HP. I try to come up with a better name than Helen. It's the only one I've gotten so far. I was gonna say if I ever end up getting oops, my bad. If I ever end up getting a sword, I was gonna call it Help Me. L to pay, maybe. Hello to you. I'm just gonna use projectiles into the satellite lizards, I don't care. Listen, fireball will kill everything else, it should be fine. Nice photon crystal. I was wondering why I wasn't killing the zoo, and I realized I was shooting the Goron from here. Man, Yashmenikov is so good. I really need to get one with better stats, but I really do like this gun a lot. It's not necessarily better than, like, the Charge Vulcans, but man, the range. When I'm playing quests like this, I'm like, please let me get that range. You really teleported past me, what a jerk. What a trickster. Him with some ATP there, what he deserves. Ashman is my favorite gun. It just, it's so useful, but it's it's not gonna be like the best damage dealer, so like I gotta swap out of it. But there's some times where I'm just like, if I clean up my wave early and I have to hit somebody on the other side of the room to assist them with their wave, like I'm absolutely switching to Yashminikov. I'm not charge arming that. Or like there's Zoo's really high in the sky. Kind of awkward to hit with some guns. There we go, we got there eventually. But at least with Yashminikov, for example, if there's fireballs preventing the birds from landing, it's a little annoying to do that with things other than Yashminikov. I have to be at such a good angle. Is that going to be another Heavenly Power? Like, this is a good angle for Charge Arm. Nice, another Heavenly Power. I will definitely take that. That means I probably have enough now to probably power up my Rocket Seals. They're going to need that for damage. Also, I forgot to see if we were still on the right soundtrack for this. Oops. We're listening to the third game by accident. That's fine. We'll let it play a little longer. Nice V101. I mean, he seems to be paying off doing the run so far. The swap was worth it. <laughs> Parameter died for the Samba. <laughs> I saw that. So it seems like it was a good idea to switch back into Green ID. I think that's my second ever V101 from Green ID. Episode 4, specifically. I've definitely gotten way more playing TTO. I'm pretty sure that's where the majority of them are from. Rest in peace, Green ID, and Viridian TTO. Gun you down real quick. Right in the, right in the streets. The first one you've ever seen drop? Interesting. 
Yeah, I did, because I played the Viridian Phone Mint for so long, I ended up with like a bazillion from TTO. Like chat, put, I'll put it this way, I don't even think he did episode 4 until he was like 160, because I just didn't know about episode 4. Think of it that way, Chad. I did not touch episode 4 with the Phone Mint. <laughs> He went through the struggles of episode one, and then I found out later. I was like, oh, it's kind of free. Oh, well. That's what you get for being scared another episode was going to be as bad as episode two for forces. Gun that guy down real quick. Oh, he's ultra dead. GG. <laughs> the, the valid fear, pretty much. I was like, hell no, I'm not doing that. Oh, I meant to ask, Chris, did you still need a 80, a level 80 armor? I think it just dropped. Divine is like 76, 78, or 80. It's one of the above. I know it's an endgame armor. If you're interested, I will go pick that up for you. Finding it is another thing. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Yeah, right now I'm using ultimate frames, so I know that it's level 80. You're good, okay. Guys. Oh nice, you have higher slot speed, you're good. Oh. Cannon fodder blocked my demon. There we go. Yeah, we'll probably do 13 hunts at some point for people that want to just get some regular drops, either by playing Episode 2 White ID or just playing more Episode 4. Because as a reminder, 13 is on most IDs in Episode 4, so just doing Episode 4 runs will net it over time. That did so much demon damage. <laughs> it just exploded. Yeah, there's only a couple opportunities to cleanly hunt 13. I don't think it's in any box drops for episode 2, though. Because I think White ID with, uh, what is it, Lily? Rare Lily that drops it. I think one other ID can get it in Temple. I'm, just, I'm trying to do it purely based off of memory. I'm like, uh, I think that's about my memory. But those are the only times I've hunted for it, where I was like, I'll just play episode four long enough and I will get one. My mentality, and then I did. So it's just like, it's, this is fun. But one ID is not too bad for Temple. Somebody need a 13. Uh, it would probably help. I know I'll need like a billion for my Hue casts. I think I have two spare. I think Chris would probably benefit from one. I could put PDs towards it if you want. Well. Because I think either way, I'm going to end up using a lot of 13s. Because if I'm going to make like potentially two or three Hue casts, we should be there. Yeah, I'll talk with Hellcleave separately, because I, I forget how many of these mags go to what. I really need to write down their actual stats, like in Excel, like I used to have. Like the striker units or whatever, but then I'm like looking at these and I'm like, that's probably a Hucast mag, but then it's like 43, I think is Rockaseal. These are probably Hucast. But interestingly, I've wanted. Oh no, I have th 362, so I have three Hucasts. Rock a seal. A, a pure dex mag, which is fine. That's for rock a seal. Oh, actually, I less than I thought. I guess I just have general stated ones. Never mind. I don't have any confusion as to what I have. 
We're good. I guess with the Sony tree given away, I don't have any questions. Yeah, I gotta go get the real Ronka Seal one at some point. Yeah, I think four Hue casts and bank number seven would work. I might just get another raw cast or two on bank eight or something. I don't know. I don't really want to have another four Phonumens, but two Phonumens may make sense. We'll see. I have enough generic mind mags that I don't know if I care about them being max statted, because I don't think I need those other ones for anything. I'm assuming we're doing one more cookie run. If anybody wants to chip in a cookie, we'll do it. I gotta put one thing away. Actually, two things. So I don't need my heavenly arms anymore, so let's put that back in the share bank. Now I can actually wield more things here. I like being able to switch between Striker Unit and Nitra. I should technically be using Nitra right now. Oh, that's what it is. My extra accuracy is from the Nitra, so maybe I actually don't have what I need. Let's see. Uh, yeah, I'm still under with ATA. I think that's fine. As long as I don't play him during even beat. Fun. For TTF, that is. Otherwise, I'll go grab that. Got zero, haven't gotten any outside of cookie runs yet that I've given to you. Oof. Fun. We'll do one more for me. 32. I want to save some for leveling other players. I think we used a decent amount of cookies so far during the event. 10 or 11. Not today, we only did like, I think, 4. But across all the different days, we did use up some. Okay. This will be the last cookie run, and then I think we'll just do a TTF or something to conclude. Which sadly we can no longer get V101 during. Rip V101. So yeah, so I still need to actually just hit nine levels to get the ATA for the other character, but for striker unit don't need it, which is kind of nice. Yeah, and I think I talked about this a couple times on stream, but man oh man chat, Red ID TTF has been moving up so high on my tier list. Can I be real with you? I think I actually prefer it over Viridian, especially during events. There's just so many hunts in it now, I'm like, wow. Every single enemy is value. The more cookie checks you make, the better it becomes. Like whether you're getting extra spread needle or cycle one chances or disco brave man or hard ofs or I'm like, geez, almost every enemy is value in Red ID. I already do slime dupes, so Lava's Cannon is in. So sick. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Clean it up, and that didn't happen. Goodbye, Goron Detonator. Bonk. I was gonna switch to Charge Arm, but I was like, never mind. But we already killed them. take that item. Yeah, Yashminikawa, for example, there. Mm. I'm even slightly out of position. It covers me so good. Like, I could see, like, when you're doing less and less casual play, it loses some value, because you should just be near the targets, but there's just times where you're just not near the targets. <laughs> but, honest opinion. Unless you're super hardcore grinding it out and you do the same quest for hours every day for weeks. There's gonna be times where I don't have every wave memorized. So good to cover those situations. We'll use a charge arm here.
He lived with one health. That is so sad, chat. The damage range. Stalled him by attacking. Clear these guys out a little more. character. Good charge arm shot I got the zoo. Also clipping other people out. You're gonna clip other people out. Yeah, I got the zoo on that one again. Nasty. Hey, another V101. Holy. Parameter's not going to know what to do with himself. The value drops. I was going to say, is green ID the truth? Should we just be doing green ID all the time? Pink ID hasn't been paying off for us. Might as well just some more green. Oh, this all show is boldy, but I didn't see it there. I was going to say, I'm tired of not getting limiters when we do Pink ID. Fine. Oh, you know what it is. This oh. is the Reaper's power. There we go. I hit it by accident. My bad, John. I might move it just slightly further over. There we go. We'll fine tune the position over time. So we'll skip Wangum 3. We might as well just play out the, what's left of the soundtrack at this point. It's so I'm pretty sure we're basically at the end of it. Unless I went to the next one, which case I'll feel sad. Oh, wait a minute. This soundtrack is way too long. Uh, we'll pause it then. We'll come back once the song is done. Nice photon crystal. Goodbye, Zeus. I got my charge arm out. Oh, the demon did not proc. That is so sad. Could have been huge. Oh well. Goodbye. I guess the Gertaboos basically explode. We're gonna pause summer morning. Their next soundtrack was Namco X Cap. Interesting intro. I never remember that game. Yeah, if you're not interested for me at the end, I will definitely take a few. I know Chris will need one for his Yuka seal. If you want me to pay towards it, let me know. Stuff away. Because I'll eventually have to gear up for Hue casts. I think I have two currently, as in like 13s. Thirteen is so good, Chad. items in there. What a shame. The 
we'll do one more TTF. If Promethean wants to host the game just to trade, let me know. Otherwise, we'll switch characters regardless. So I think I want to bring in... Given that we have forces... I'm going to play my Red ID character. Oh, okay. I'll go join the room then. So we tried getting Hellcleave a Heaven Striker. Sadly, it did not work out today. But an attempt was made. So we're going to switch out. I'm going to check for Promethean's room. That should give me all the 13s that I need for the 4 Hugh cast, plus 1 for Chris. Let's make sure he gets it. I know he's having some internet issues at the moment. Crimson leveling up a couple more times will mean I can finally fix her materials. And then I think I have enough power materials to do whatever I want with the remaining characters. What, what an assortment of items she's holding currently. Put some stuff away in this character bag, so I can pick this up. Thank you, thank you. Nice. Some even have slots already. That's perfect. Thank you, Promethean. Might as well check the shop real quick just to see if there's any charge Vulcans or some nonsense in here. You never know. There's a charged knife. Okay, so I'm gonna host his red ID. Oh no, you're watching the League of Legends Grand Finals. Hope you have fun with it. I have not played that game in an eternity. Let's go ahead and host. I was gonna say, the other thing I'll need, Hellcleave will help me keep an eye out on the trade post for it. Twin Blaze. This character needs her own Twin Blaze. <laughs> I have one currently, but she needs one permanently. Interesting, she's only using a 40 hit vice. Hmm. Do I want that? I think I don't. I think what I should... I have a 50 hit vice. I'm just squeezing that. I understand why I gave that to her, because her accuracy is so good, but I think for long term... I don't see a reason why she can't just keep it. Hugh Cass can keep my 60 hit. She can keep my 50 hit. Somebody else can keep my 40 hit, which is okay. Oh, you got a twin blaze? Oh, I would definitely be interested. It is, like, actual suffering to get this item. Thank you for the Twin Blaze. Alright, so that all basically completes her. She has just a wall of items in her inventory at the moment. I don't need Red Handgun, because I'm with the group. Let me put the old Red Handgun away. Aerosol is not bad. Oh, it even has Machine Percentage? Wow, Promethean hooking me up. That's the exact kind of thing I want on Twin Blaze. I don't care about it to percentage at all. Okay, we got some good bonuses here. Give him Parameter a little time to join. Oh. Accuracy on Red Handgun's okay. I only need it for uh, Pew Pew on the silly full up screens. Be 101 on humor. Mm. Still booty. Truth. One day. Plop. <laughs> Sadly, I have no angry stops. I can only cry. The fact that I don't have the angry stop emote. See ya.
For those that are not aware, I'm gonna tell you all the ridiculous drops we will get as we go through this quest. Let me just open this up slightly so I can read it a bit easier. We're gonna go area by area, the ridiculousness you can get during this quest. Let's start with Towards the Future Forest. Emily battles from Hill Delts are okay. It's kind of like throwaway PDs, potentially trade fodder. Uh, Magical Sword and Artista we probably know about. Sacred Cloth from Rare, or from Normal Rappy is interesting. Getting a red handgun from Pal Rappy is also kind of funny. If we kill the Barbarous Wolves, we get a Heart of Twin Chakram. If we make sure all the Bar Bulls die, or Talos die is Red Saber, and Bar Tolls is Disco Brave Man. If we kill all these basic enemies, we are getting a lot of Disco chances. I'm probably just going to kill this entire room, to be honest. Just because I, I, I want some Red Sabers. So I'm going to Greed for Red Saber. Chat can actually focus on clears if they want. It also means that I get one more chance at Disco by waiting for the other creatures to spawn. So no Red Saber so far. But like almost every enemy in Forest gives you an actual drop that potentially helps your run. I'm not going to call them like the end-all be-alls, but it is like shocking how many good items they get per area. I think they really, really up the value of Red ID with the Heart of item. So sadly, nothing too crazy there. So up next, Red ID gets Valkyrie from the boss, which is not that exciting. Caves, Red Swords from Melkweeks, which are okay. I don't usually wait for those, so that's probably the least impactful. The big one is if you feel like killing Pan Arms, it's a Sangay chance. Otherwise, the other one is getting rare slime for Lava Cannon. Sadly, Caves is probably its weakest point. So, Red ID Caves, not the best, but everything beyond that is kind of crazy. Nibelung Velesti! Valkyrie, pretty much. I, I should just be able to kill it with the Vice here. But, um... <laughs> That's why I'm not really worried about Dark Blow. I've learned that Vice is actually just so broken at ho on high-level characters that if the boss is being hit with level sh or shift to 30, it basically just equals GG. I don't need Dark Blow. I mean, I could save like a second <laughs> if I get the frame perfect kill, but otherwise it doesn't really matter. See, so yeah, I'm going to be doing slime dupes, so I don't want to be the first in here. Go ahead and dupe some slimes. Hopefully, oh, chat's going through the middle. That's bad. Alright, that's good. Okay, that's good. I was worried they were going to go north. North would have been the worst case scenario. I'm going to go ahead and kill this entire room. Well, minus the other guys. I don't really care about them. I'm going to just go brave man this group. So good. That was a little slow. I think I'm used to the Hue cast where you could kill with just two berserks. I got to remember Hue Casil. Can't quite do that. What I want to do here is just do a drive-by freeze trap for people. Makes their life easy. Yeah, sadly nano dragons don't really have anything too crazy here. I'm gonna go ahead and run ahead. Hopefully we get some interesting slime dupes. We'll see what happens. One, two, three. Alright, check check can come in the room now, it's good. Once, once the initial wave is there, I could do little baby steps towards the exit. As long as chat doesn't pull them behind me, they should just die. Yeah, like, I can't kill those because they got pulled behind me. Fortunate. Put another couple fire traps down. Maybe we'll get a kill. Nah, I don't think I can. Rip. Let's go ahead and do Jaya's, I guess. No rare slime, so the important j drop was already checked for. Now, mines is kind of interesting for Red ID. I'm gonna focus on this. Okay, I got invincibility. So, Guild Chicks, the normal punching robots, have a heart of Sorcerer's Cane. So, I'm probably gonna stay behind in the first room to kill all the Guild Chicks. I probably need assistance on at least the first two waves, and then Chat can leave on the last wave. Generally, somebody should always just continue forward and clear the quest, but I'm gonna go max greed, to be real with you. Oh, hey, look, material from the boss. So, ideally, what'll happen is that initially, I'm just gonna confuse trap bees so they fight themselves, so even in a solo scenario where I don't want to stay behind and kill these, 
a Zalore plus Confuse Trap is usually good enough to kill them. I'm gonna kill this. I'm gonna turn around and just deal with the remainders. That's kind of like I could kill it on the way. I'm gonna Freeze Trap down and try to kill them with Disco Brave Man. I'm in a bad angle. Well, I have no assistance. That's a little scary. Okay, we got through it though. They're probably gonna be about here. The Disco Brave Man again. There we go. I purposely didn't hit the trap because I wanted it to detonate right at the end. Cat's at the Sinnoh room, so I gotta speed it up a little. Yeah, it goes a little slow with just one person, so I'm like, oops. <laughs> Definitely big oops to be soloing that, but whatever. Uh, we're probably gonna kill most of the cannabins in the Sinnoh room beyond at least. Unless they've already cleared it. Oh, chat's already waiting for me. I'll tell Pipe back then. As long as they have a warp, I'll take it. It looks like they're there already. Yeah, there we go. Oh, well. So we're gonna put down a happy little freeze trap. Time to go on a cannabis killing spree. Or guilt check, I mean. Any hard of checks? Any hard of checks? That doesn't look like anything, sadly. Oh well. Tried. But sadly, no hard of items, but all those guilt checks are free. Potentially massive value, <laughs> like 30 plus PDs. We might as well do a quick check for them. Not any different than doing a V101, just unfortunately it's more cosmetic than useful. Anyway, Sinnoh Reds for Ajito 1975. Heavenly HP from this boss is not a bad consolation prize. But Ruins is where it starts to go really bonkers, for sure. I'm gonna do this to slow down for people that want to stun lock. Yeah, there we go. The Ruins has Psycho Wand from Chaos Sorcerer. Is Spread Needle from Chaos Bringers? And it also gets uh, Disco Brayman from Arlen's. So what'll happen is when we go into the first room, versing the uh, Dark Bringer, I'm just gonna ask the chat to help me kill the claws, and then I would prefer if one person stays behind. The other two can continue the quest as normal, but if we kill those Arlen's and then kill the Arlen's in the Sorcerer Room, that's a lot of Disco Brayman checks. So I'm thinking between all of those, we should be really good. So forces are pretty good at clearing the claws, and since forces don't do anything with the Darkbringers anyway, they could probably just spam Razan to speed up the initial rune clear. Here on Funk. Yeah, and then once we kill the initial Arlens, we'll move out of the first room. But yeah, I want to do all of the Niska Brave Man checks, because there's quite a lot of them the run itself, which is kind of nice. I think overall there's like, what, 20-ish checks? 25? We're definitely gonna try to freeze the claws so I can disc of them. Okay. Look for freeze trap here. I'm gonna go ahead and try to kill the other island. Oh, so not my trap. That's scary. Uh, okay. Over here. And that room was quick clear. Excellent. So we're going to kill these four Arlens, then the next four, and then there's another group of four. The Claws are optional to kill after this room, but I figure during an event, it doesn't hurt to Razan kill them for cookie chances. It's it's okay to do. So I just want to make sure I'm not good at fighting the Claws, so I personally don't want to clear them, but it, it doesn't hurt. So if we happen to be time well for a force to on there, I'll, I'll do it. We'll probably go for a full clear here. So I'm gonna go ahead and kill one more Arlen. So you can see every one of those Arlens was a chance at Disco. And then we're probably also gonna kill the Darkbringers just for spread needle chances, to be honest. 
get our Halloween cookie chances up. I'm gonna put a freeze trap in the corner. I want to freeze trap roughly in the middle of the room to punish the sorcerer. I guess I miss him. I got a double freeze. I can focus on these two. So we know there's going to be a Chaos Sorcerer against the wall, there's going to be two along the side. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to prep to hit the far side one. So I'm going to put two Freeze Traps down early. I can hit them both. Okay, I got one frozen. I'm going to go ahead and lock him down. Spread Noodle chances? No Spread Noodle. Damn. Oh well. And that's Red ID clear. You get a lot more monster kills. So if you're looking to get a little... If you're focusing less on Red Ring and more focusing on... Red ring while getting event items. I do like red ID quite a lot. Just because, like, we got four spread needle chances, way over 20 disc of brave man chances. Unfortunately, we didn't roll well. We got at least 20 uh, art of chances in the run. It's a lot of items that are potentially big winners that just other IDs just don't even have the option of doing. So if you're going to get some extra kills as you play, we'd like to call it the, uh, the greed. <laughs> Then it just makes sense to uh, play Red ID. The only downside is probably Red Caves. If Red Caves had like one more hunt that would be worth doing, that would have been huge. Like if, if Nano Dragon had something, that would have been huge. I don't know why I try mated. That was actually a mistake to do. I think I just autopilot, saw myself low on health and healed. I didn't even think I would get hit. Just on foolery from my side. Uh, I'm gonna gear us a little then. Oh, I got bonked right at the last hit. That sucks. Gearsol, you betrayed me. The end lag was just slightly too long, rip. No dark flow in this phase, then. Not that it really matters. If you have a vice, everything's all good. I got a couple pot shots, not bad. This one is so good. Bye, boss. Rats on the red ring? Oh no. I was gonna say, I'm assuming it's not for this group. I haven't seen one in a while. We're gonna hold forward to make sure we realign properly, and we're gonna do light, heavy, heavy, light, light. I think that's the most I could get. We're gonna hover vice in case I'm able to get a hit here. Well, that's big damage. There we go. Nice foey finish. Or grants. I'm not sure what it was, but it was invincible. Goodbye, Falls. Damn, chat on the dead, dead already. already. I heard it. <laughs> the furious typing of racing and who will enter it. <laughs> Chris had the having the home advantage of uh, not not playing PSO at the moment. Ooh, thirteen, a thirteen minute clear with all those extra kills. Keep in mind, chat. Normally, when you clear TTF, it's like what forty five hit ones. Final hit was Galatine. Oh, nice. Slap the boss. Tell her who's who's better. Let's see how many extra kills we got in this run. While still keeping it sub-14. I'm imagining close to 90. Let's see how many it was. We did skip, like, one wave. Let's see. 151. Wow. Way more than I thought. So we got almost triple the amount of kills <laughs> compared to, like, a normal TTF. So I will definitely take that. Is it simple? We have to think about it this way. It's not like min kill is very low, but we normally at least kill like a whole bunch of enemies as we go. So that's 151 chances of cookies we go through, minus four, because four of them are bosses. Wow, we even get the, and you get the S rank too. Oh, so cute. Give me the S rank. Give me that scape doll. Free scape doll. Let's do one more TTF. So it's just a lot of extra kills kind of squeezed in. And then this will be for sure my last run before we have some conversations. 
The principal's finally proud of us, true. So yeah, we're trying to play the odds, because I mean, there's like, what? You fight four Bartles, then four, eight, twelve Bartles, then... 16, there's 17 Bartle equivalencies and ruins. Then in forest, I think there's five, six? That's 23, and I forget if there's any in the other wave in the other room. So you get at least 23 chances with Disco Brave Man, which is not bad. So I just like those extra kills. So a lot of it is just making sure we hit Zalor on certain rooms, or like if we know we're gonna leave people behind, we can confuse trap. My favorite is to confuse trap those Sinnoh Blues, but if I'm the one that's staying behind, I can't confuse trap for the group, which makes me a bit sad. But when we have more casts, confuse trapping the Sinnoh Blue room is hilarious. The kills are so free. Cat saying Zeno Saga. I'm not sure what game this is, it's just the generic soundtrack at the moment. Amco versus Capcom. Definitely want to do that to speed it up. But here's our chance, I think, at more nice drops. We'll see if we get it though. Build these. Thank you for staying behind. That's 100% Zeno Saga. I'll take Cat's word. I've never played. Well, I played a Zeno Saga game. No, no, no. Zeno Gears. I played Zeno Gears. I take that back. I've not played Zeno Saga. Xenogear scarred me forever, Chad. Can we talk about this? Those cutscenes were just way too long in the beginning. Like, I like Metal Gear, but man, just, it was so front-loaded with cutscenes. <laughs> Help me, Chad. Just, like, please get me out of this cutscene hell. I think the first hour and a half... So it says... Just generically Zeno Saga. It's a confirm for chance, so they're not feeling bad about it. But yeah, Zeno Saga. Ooh. There's something else. Or am I confusing which one is which? There's one where you play with Cosmos. Whichever one has Cosmos, that one took way, way too long to clear. It was to the point where I think I had basically gotten about two hours in. Realized I forgot a memory card at the time, and it was like, damn, I gotta replay the beginning of the game. But then I, like, replayed it again, because I didn't get to a save that I could use. And I skipped cutscene, and it took me, like, four minutes to <laughs> where it got in two hours. I was like, wait a minute, that beginning of the game was kind of whack. Yeah, it was really dumb. I was like, wait, did I seriously... Did I only do, like, two minutes of actual gameplay in that first two hours? And then it teleported me to, like, some hangar or something afterwards. Like, damn. Truth. Yeah, that that game was, like, whew. Yeah, those, those cutscenes go on for an eternity. I'm, like, I'm, like, I'm starting to get pretty uncomfortable waiting. I'm not even gonna lie. It's, it's just taking too long. Alright, so let's go put a fire trap down here. Kill the room, put a freeze trap down, try to kill this for extra checks. Well, that went super fast, thank you for the assist. I just needed like that little bump of damage so I don't waste as much time in that room. And I could do a drive-by freeze trap to help the group. I'm helping. Right, so that flower needs to die. Put a couple freeze traps down here. I got nothing better to do. And again, while you're waiting, you might as well just clear the other rooms. That's the other thought process. Like, if you want to kill the nano dragons, the oh, Halloween cookie, nice, rewarded. See, this is why we do the extra checks. Now I'm gonna pull the whole slime wave over here, and see that we killed so fast. Oh, chat pulled them away from me. No, I'm gonna kill these. There we go. Yeah, like see how we're still so see how those nano dragons are still alive. Whoever whoever clears the Lily room, you might as well just kill the nano dragons. Just get those extra two checks. Again, stuff normally it doesn't matter, but like Halloween event, we're gonna squeeze every drop, every drop of possible enemy kill into the quest. It's so good. 
sadly no good items there. At least the secret to living is not letting me get face check you, damn. Promethean being sassy. <laughs> Ooh, I have invincibility. Perfect. I love invincibility on this boss. I love not thinking. I ran out of moon atomizers on another character. Rip. I'll try to collect them if I see them. But yeah, I was like, man, those cutscenes. Brutal. Yeah, so far no moons have dropped that I see. The secret to living is having invincibility on, on, on boss. Yeah, that's true. Ooh, nice Salor. This should lead to a lot of fast kills. So if I just walk away and help with Sinnoh Red... So, like, I'm still helping with the quest. But now they basically delete themselves. It's amazing. Nice, I got assistance. Right, let's put down a nice little freeze trap. I think between both of us, we should be able to just wombo combo them out of existence. Got another freeze trap down. So they're not even at the Sino room yet. So this is perfect. So that was so much faster than Solo. Oh, if, if that turret was there, I would have been. <laughs> that would have been the biggest troll. Can you imagine, chat? Nine health, step out. Then Promethean says, The secret to living is not walking in front of fire turret. I'd be like, Damn, troop Promethean. We were close to that timeline. We were very close. So I'm going to tell you a little trick to it. So chat, leave the room. I'm going to show you something stupid. You ready for something stupid? Do your normal clears. I'm going to kill every single one of these Sinnohs. Don't worry about it. I'm going to show you something stupid. When you're by yourself, Sinnohs have to retarget every swing. So all you do is stand in the middle, right? You pause trick, walk away. They're just going to kill each other now. I don't have to do anything else. I mean, I could shoot them if I want to. Speed it up a little bit. They just whiffed each other. So they'll kill the Gilchicks as I mess around with this room. But just showing, like, I don't really need multiple players here. I mean, it's nice if it happens. Uh, it looks like most of the Gilchicks are dead, so I'm just gonna move on. So yeah, I got all those Sinnoh blue checks, and I'm not even that far behind the team. Kinda nice. That's how you squeeze out those kills, chat. You recognize, if you got a team of good players, they're gonna clean up all those other guild checks. So might as well just give them PD and Halloween cookie chances. Obviously, I don't do that clear if it's not an event. The Sinnohs don't grant anything, but... Killing the Gilchick is still valid, regardless of where you are. I put out some Twin Blaze. Art of Walk has been found. Nice. That was super fast. I was kind of not expecting that. But I guess that's what happens when Gazan Twin Blaze <laughs> Spread Needle decides to say no to one monitor. Best clear. Okay, that was extremely fast boss fight. We're at eight minutes despite doing all those extra clears. It's pretty much on pace with like a, a standard run, but just we're just optimizing where we can squeeze in kills. So yeah, Chad will help me with the claws. I can freeze the room if they need it. Once the claws are dead, it's basically I'll clean up the room. Nice. So they're gonna spawn in the four corners, so I'm gonna put one here. That way my back is protected. I'm gonna kill this one. I'll help whoever helped me. Nicely done, and we're out of here. We're basically just gonna murder those poor Arlens. I don't know if the indie bell rows are worth it. I guess it depends on the ID. So I'm definitely going to kill these. No doubt. I think what I could do is probably freeze trap into Diska here. Might be the smart move. Yeah, that's much faster. 
basically just have to make sure those other Arlen's die. Oh, they got it. Okay. We're gonna recognize when somebody else has it, you just walk away. That's the other smart thing. You just look at it like, oh, their health total moved. I don't need to be there. Let's go ahead and advance the kill state here. Nicely done. Set up a freeze trap in the corner. Try to put a freeze trap roughly in the middle. Group safe-ish. Yeah, look how easy that clear was. I'm gonna put a freeze trap in the corner. Nice Halloween cookie. Froze the one behind me. I'm gonna kill the one in front of me. Excellent. And we got rewarded for the cookie checks. We got two cookies we would not normally have received. Just through sheer number of kills. I like that. Now everybody's ready for the warp. We're just waiting on Hellcleave to take the warp. Unless Hellcleave is taking items. I think he's checking items or something. There we go. Nice, we got extra cookies. Time to drain my health properly this time. Is that a monolith? Yeah, still. Still faster than most public games, and just so many more kills, so much more value in the run. Just because, like, Red Ring is worth a lot, but so are Heart of Items. Getting extra Spread Needle chances is kind of nice. Definitely no Spread Needles for the group this way. We did get a Spread Needle doing Red ID the other day, though. Want me to be luckier next time? Damn. Just got popped there. That would have been embarrassing. I need to come more to the sides here. I'm just gonna blind fire. Do the skills one. Nope. Yes, wrong. Yeah, I've been experimenting, I mentioned before, with the force potentially spamming Gafoli while remaining closest to the group. Because if they spam Resta and Gafoli, basically nobody needs to dodge. And it means that we get full focus fire on the boss. But it's kind of risky with just one force or somebody that doesn't have, like, Ignition Cloak. Because you do require at least two... Oh, this boss is dead. You do require at least two stacks of Gafoli to kill spinners normally. Ah, the boss hit me. You know what? I'm just gonna heal. Nice. Spam that Resta. Tell that boss what's up. I'm gonna hold forward. Light, heavy, heavy, light, light. That's a lot of damage. We're gonna hover Vice. See if we get a close shot. Oh, we're a good body. Ooh, there we go. I saw my vice go off. GG. But you get boss. Yeah, I have a lot of fun with you, Casil, in multiplayer TTF. Single player TTF, not as much. Multiplayer, I have a lot of fun. She does just enough damage and her accuracy is just good enough that my gear is just how it should be on most of these fights. And we cleared before 13 minutes. I'm curious how many more monsters we killed this time, because I killed the Sinnoh Blues, for the most part. That is a lot of chances. And again, we got uh, Halloween cookies. So, rewarded for TTF? Question mark? <laughs> Shock gas. Oh, I need to go get... I'll go get moons in a second. I'm just curious what the kill count was. 165. Wow. There's 161 total kills. That is a lot of chances of Halloween cookies, and as we mentioned before, more than 20 chances of Disco Brave Man and all those other checks. And about as many with Heart of checks, so potential value. I would say probably as the weakest of the boss draws, but not necessarily weaker than 
the others, like Sky ID boss drops. Just hear random sound effects. Take my cookie. Oh no. Thank you, hopefully. So we'll go into the, the pile. 164 kills to your guts. Yeah, you were really close. <laughs> For me, they go into full meltdown. No, not the cookie. No one would ever guess the song is labeled China. <laughs> They've got like the almost Chun Li voices to it. Something else. Put these away. Ooh, I kept out on HP material. That's awkward. Alright, how many luck material am I up to again? 24. Wow. So I took out all of them uh, last event, and then towards the end of the last event, we did get a handful. That means between the end of the event, the last week, and the current part of Halloween event, we have picked up a lot of luck materials. We are basically averaging one almost every other run, if not every run. Kinda silly. Yeah, I guess we'll talk about how we think things went. We didn't get Red Ring, but we got basically everything else. V101, limiters, lots of PDs across the board, several Halloween cookies, but not bad. So what are we gonna do, chat? I'm going to talk about the guide, but I don't want to make this video longer. So we're going to go ahead and say goodbye to you two. We're going to pause PSOing for now. So let's go ahead, I guess, and say thank you for watching. And hope to see you in the next part, YouTube.